So I suppose we are ready to continue with Legend of Mana. So in terms of where we are with the game, we're in the final 17 or so events. We should very easily crack into the top 15 when it comes to the remaining portions of the game. So I think we're wrapping up one of the final pirate quests before we continue with the Gilbert arc. Those are the things that'll be pretty much first and foremost. Though I don't think at this point I can mess anything up. Calvisham said don't misclick now. I think it's literally impossible. There's only one place left. So I, I think I'm good. I, it would take a miracle for me to not put that in the right location at this point. Like the most heinous series of misinputs. Especially since it's in the middle of other places, so I can't even miss it by putting it one to the left or right. There we go. We're going to leave it with the black border. I was going back and forth whether I wanted to update that, and I'm like... You know, it's something about the way this game renders. I don't think I'm going to bother with it, so it's going to have the black border all the way around. It's weird because, like, on some cutscenes it looks fine. But whatever. In theory, I could stretch it to fit it, but I'd rather not. I believe the very last thing that we did was the Nordic fields or snowfield. We're going to double check that nothing weird happened with the game memory. Again, the paranoia is super intense. It should say Nordic field. There we go. So we're looking good there, so we have about 17 events left. Welcome and Parameter. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. We'll give shoutouts for follows, I think, at the end of the stream. I think right now I just want to make sure audio sounds good. I'm, I'm more focused on stuff like that than uh, the shoutouts. There were quite a few since I was taking a break from streaming. mostly collecting these to see if I can end up getting the Toadstool House, but I don't think I put in the right seed combination for that, sadly. I do like the Pine O'Clock, though. Happy I got to see that one last time. But I think beyond this point, I'm not going to bother with food anymore. Because it's not guaranteed to get certain items, even if I put, put certain seeds in. That's so kind of whatever at this point. And I think at this point, Choco Buddy will survive everything except for the final boss. I don't think normal encounters can ever kill him. He's just kind of the ultimate insurance for us at the moment. I never ended up playing with the Robot Buddy. Even though we now have weapons that I think would be okay for Robot Buddy. But truly, if you want to have the most broken character, you give the Robot a gun. End of statement. <laughs> just <laughs> GG when Robot has gun. What can I say? So yeah, as far as I know, I think this might be the last event. I don't remember another one beyond this one. So this is the reason why we had to crush the 20 crabs. We're finally going to go deal with that one. everybody's doing well today. Just going through typical Windows 11 stuff as usual. My favorite thing today is that uh, after using the computer for an hour, about an hour and a half ago, I came back and literally every audio thing had failed. That was fun. I'm ready to insert the directions west, west, north, I believe. If not, we'll, we'll figure it out. Hmm? What's that I see? Okay, so we didn't input it correctly. Captain is calling you. Please come to the captain's cabin. Here we are, the famous beaches of Medora. I hear ladies lay here with the bikini tops unlaced. Ah, ain't that great? How about it, mate? Would you go there with the penguins? 
say yes. All right, Shelmu's a real man. We be late. Dud Bear sniffed this place out already. Just use your heads. Dud Bears are known for their greed. You be right, Captain. We believe in acting before thinking. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's a good quote. Buried treasure. Captain dot dot dots. Well, anyway, as you see, Dud Bears like money. Use these 15 Halo coins to move them. If you run out of coins, quit right there and come back. 15 Halo coins acquired. Hmm. We'll talk to each of these. Dead bears are so annoying. They all say that, apparently. Um... coins remaining. Well, that was easy. Oh, that's right. We have the power of knife. Or sword, excuse me. It'll, or axe. It's axe. Blood. See it more clearly now. That's what I get for not looking at the big screen. Okay, so let's remind ourselves what we were doing with the skills. So I was doing push and tackle. What's our last ability that we learned? Oh, remember the yo-yo. We learned boulder dash, which was a completely ludicrous unlock. That really was just super unfair. So I believe we need spin and defensive lunge, which we should get automatically at a 30, or if we have lunge and high jump, we should get cross strike. So if we get orbiting blades before then, I'm gonna go back and fix cross strike. We'll say that's one combat encounter. Man, this weapon is just so strong. Cross strike, that's a good sign. We know we're officially on number 26 in terms of battles. Uh, I'll get rid of Salmon Upstream. Let's try Cross Strike. Boulder Dash is just broken. So let's see, we'll count that as three towards Push Tackle. What was I trying to get with Push Tackle? Honestly, I don't even see it on the list. Maybe I had it on there for Boulder Dash and never swapped it. Makes more sense. So we'll do... I guess... Whirl, I thought we already unlocked high enough. I could do... Moonsault, Somersault, just in case. I believe Cheer is out of the way. We don't need to worry about that. Evade, I think, is good. Counter Strike, I think, we're also good. High Jump, I think, we have. But we'll find out soon. So we're at 26, six more if I don't unlock True Strike. Oh, I gotta switch things up. See how Cross Strike works. Oh, it's a close range ability. No, oh, thank you. Getting rid of that immediately. Black Wings acquired, which is 28. Retreat and Toss. I mean, that's good, because the other one was terrible. Short range, medium damage. Not sure I'm feeling convinced by that. Oh boy, there's a lot of dead bears here. I think if they give me anything before I go further. Is 
This is horrendous. There's so many of them. Hmm. I'm gonna... Ch this is not indeed Cookie Runs. Welcome, Promethean. I was gonna say, I'm not really interested in running PSO at the moment. I, I want to take a pretty long break from it. Ooh, that's not good. I did not get an item I was expecting to get. Uh... So something did not happen that should have happened. Might have to go back. There we go. Oh, that's annoying. They all just have random ones. Alright, we need more little bottles. That's what I'm looking for. I vaguely recall that I need them. I didn't realize it was random. That really sucks, actually. Wait, seriously? Or do I have to give the same guy this, the same one? Oh, uh, that also sucks. I thought it was one per. Might still have enough, despite me handing those out. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully you're doing well, Promethean. That stun lock is disgusting. Alright, let's see what this ability is before it ends. Oh, it's a throw move? Oh, I don't know about that. No, thank you. Hard pass for getting rid of that. Not worth. At least I'll do an AoE. Hmm. So I did need to bribe to get by. Is he seriously not going away? Seriously? Oh, well now I gotta go back, because I don't think I have enough. That is really annoying. I have not done this quest in an eternity. So some of it is like, I vaguely recall what I need to do. We're gonna be entering a trading mini game. I think I need exactly three... ...shells. I don't think I have enough coins, though, because of that. I think I needed to give him a little bottle. That's fine, we'll just go get our coins back. That'll be two battles with this. We got Orbiting Blades. So after Orbiting Blades is... True Strike, which we're slowly leveling up Moon Salt and Somersault. I think we had enough Whirl, we should be good. Then after that I'm gonna put on Jump and Cheer, but I think I have it already. Let's see if True Strike is any good. We already saw cross strike. Oh, orbiting blades. I'm sorry. Hey, why is that so bad? Frontal area minor damage. I got confused because I have the technique list ordered, but not. It's like it's in an order, but that's not the order that the technique list is. That is so bad. That is such a bad move. Let's never use that again. Holy, very slow. I mean, I guess I won't miss with it. 
but I also don't miss with the other things at all. Uh, we'll do Salmon Upstream again. So hopefully this quest is not failable, or we gotta do it again. Oh, is he, like, seriously not here? I thought he would be here waiting for us. Ugh. I mean, how many more coins do I need? I need one coin for the end, I think. Maybe this is fine. I guess I'll find out the hard way whether I need more coins. We'll just call this improving our weapon skills in the meantime. Yeah, I remember skipping this quest, I'm gonna be honest, a lot when I replayed the game. I'm like, yeah... I don't know. I've never been a big fan of trading minigames in other games. It's one thing if it's like going between towns and it's like passive, but when you're like repeatedly going back and forth between a few places, I'm like, nah. So we should unlock the next move soon. Oh, speaking of which, let's use some yo-yo. Much better than Orbital Blade. More distance, more damage. Give him a little bottle. We still have three left, point wise. So we're going to have to guess correctly which one I have to give the little bottles to, which is going to be very interesting. Man, this weapon is unfair. The fact that I can loop it like that is kind of insane. I, I don't know what they were thinking with Axe. Some weapons definitely feel a lot harder to win with than others. This is not one of them. I mean, it even has like the uppercut too, so I could do exactly what we were doing before with Spear. What a weapon. I want to say that's at least four. Might not reach. Oh, well, nice. Yeah, because that also gives power up, so at least there's like a reason to use that one over the others. Nothing else getting more damage is nice. I'm gonna hope it's this one that I need to give it to. Okay, we got the Puka Shell. That's what I want. I'm thinking because it was in the light, he's the one I needed to choose. That was my only reasoning there. Now that I have this, I think I can bribe to go this way. Good. Bye, crab. I wonder if Moon Soul actually gets over that or not. I was hoping he would do the attack, but I don't think he's gonna do it again. An attack I don't care about. That's the one I want to see. Like, if I can, like, leap it. Unfortunately, the buddy's too close, so he's not gonna use it. Unfortunate. This move is so dumb. This should just one-shot the encounter. Actual full-screen max damage. What nonsense. I feel like if we don't get it in the next couple of battles, I'll switch out the, the Somersault-Moonsault combo. It means I don't have enough Twirl. I thought we did last time. We should hopefully not need to swap it here. Wow, that is actually busted. Hmm. 
I ended up here. That didn't... That's, I somehow didn't find the treasure. Unless it was something I had to pick up in between. Hmm. I'm gonna go backwards slightly. I regret not having a guide in front of me for this. On the plus side, we should unlock our, our axe skill hopefully in two battles. It is called Buried Treasure. Maybe I just didn't check the beach. I kind of thought a cutscene would happen, to be honest. that some weapons make you move very quickly on the ground too, and Axe is also pretty fast movement compared to some of the other things that we've used. Kind of insane. Actually, you know what? I think I realized what I forgot to do. Yeah, there we go. Now I think we're good. I had to come back this way anyway. Okay, so I think I need that to bribe to go to the far left. Because I was like, I'm pretty sure we didn't find it. So it probably is a cutscene. So if I get access to the far left, we should be good. I think we're back on track. We're just unlocking weapon skills. That's all I view this as. But hopefully we get another skill right here. If we do not, that means I need more twirl. Because we've done at least six battles with these skills, and we should be at 42, I think, on this one. Yeah, so that tells me I don't have to set up correctly. Let's take a moment to correct what we need here. So to get to the... We need Moon Soul 8, Somersault 12, Roll 10. Okay. So I think I just need to do one more battle with Moon Soul and then I can sub it out. It's possible I didn't use Moon Soul enough, so I'm actually going to repeat the fight here. Just go back to the other area and then I'm just going to learn it. Unless there's a battle to the left of here, then I won't do that. Because now I can almost get- yeah, let me reset this room. I can pretty much guarantee at this point that Moon Salt should be 8, so I probably just don't have enough in Whirl. The Summer Salt should learn itself over time. And that should give us the one that I'm looking for, which is uh, True Strike. Then the one after that is Jump, Crouch, and Cheer, which I should already have 18 or more on. So let's switch it over. The Moonsault should be done. We're going to switch this to Whirl, which I thought I was leveling before. Hopefully that was exactly 8 battles. Let's go this way. This should be the final piece. Perfect. I mean, we got time to learn the skills, not the end of the world. There we go, there's the cutscene. Stop right there. We the diggers claim that treasure. Give a halo coin. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it. There we go. I'm glad we had one coin left over. 
Well done. Now that's a real man of the sea. Here. Ain't much, but take this. Altina Alloy. Great treasure of the end. Yeah, our, our last unlock is at 80. So as long as I learn that one by 80, it doesn't really matter if I get the other ones exactly when they get unlocked. So we're going to we're going to count to 10. And if I count to 8 and we haven't unlocked it, I'm going to switch out for the final two to just go back to Moon Soul for two more. So I guess we'll count to 8 first. And then we should be all good for unlocks. As I said before, I think we already leveled everything we needed to level by using the skill a minimum amount of times. The only one I'm not sure about are things like Whirl and Counter-Attack being high enough. I think we're good here. There we go. So let's go ahead and uh, save. I could save some time on the next quest, from what I recall. I believe we're finally... Yeah, guilt, love is blind. That's what I'm looking for. I think we could save some time on this upcoming quest by just going to Medora Beach early. Also notice, I am still avoiding Geo, or else I will mess up the plot order, so I cannot go to Geo full-time until we are 100% done with that, which I find very funny. My fear of Geo is real, of accidentally skipping a quest. Oh, wait, hold on, I need to go to the beach. And then I think finally, for the first time in the entire playthrough, we will bother to go to Geo. Which I find kind of hilarious. It's like, one of the one of the major magic cities, and where all the students are from, that we've seen running around, but we've never actually been there still. We even saw cutscenes involving their headmaster with no context. But I think the game just kind of assumed we would see them by that point. So, oops on the game's part, I guess. Uh, so this is one. This should be GG. Boulder Dash is broken. Alright, we learned Dynamite X. So that tells me we had 18 Jump, 18 Crouch, 18 Shear. So I have 20-something... No, I got 16 attempts to get Whirl, Moonsault, and... Uh, somersault up to the right number, so this should be fine. I know spear required, so that's one. How did he get out of that while I was attacking? What a god. Guess I'll do power attack cancels to stop him from jumping. Oh, he still got out of it. Wow, okay. What a cheater, I guess. Okobo super armor is real. As long as they're vaguely lined up with me, this should hit. Yeah. Oh, Choco Buddy tanking everything. What a beast. There we go. He's even semi aggressive, too. That's two, I think. Hopefully I didn't lose track. If I did, it's not a big deal. I got 16 attempts. I only need 10. Should be three. There we go. Now we're tag teaming.
Damn, that infinite is disgusting. Although, I wish the Chocobo buddy wouldn't pick. Or she would just peck. Yeah, I've been feeling Whirl is probably not high enough, because we definitely did Moonsault enough times. Yeah, this is the quest that I usually forget to do. And this causes me to mess up the Gilbert line of quests. I'm thinking about going outside. May I go with you? Yes. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Let's go. No, I just want the treasure chest. I mean, I want you in the party for something later, but I want this first. Fear of peace. There we go. What are her stats like? I'm level 34. She's level 30. She has really high skill. She has no weapons. Oh, that's probably why I don't remember her. Oh, she has nothing but magic. I mean, 30 magic is okay. It's just magic kind of magic kind of bad. I don't know if I like a pure spellcaster. I think they thought magic was a lot stronger than it is, and it's just kind of bad, honestly, in most playthroughs. Like, even when you hyper-focus it, it's never gonna compete with melee damage. With, like, any bare minimum upgrades with Blacksmith. Which is kind of unfortunate. Well, I think that's not gonna reach, actually. Oh, it will. Like, that attack with, at least was quick, but it did way less damage than it should have. So she's gonna make this take longer than it should. I mean, I guess I appreciate her stun locking, but... I'd rather just kill the enemy outright. It should be four. So is this a before? If we count to eight, I'm gonna switch, uh... Somersault out with Moonsault. Maybe I'm off by one. Maybe I will learn seven instead of eight or something dumb. See, now that makes me scared to use skills. Oh, I really don't like this party member. She might just interrupt my, my main attack by using magic. Which is pretty bad if that happens. That's a big waste of time. Okay, we learned Tree Strike, so I think I just didn't have enough Whirl, so that's fine. So let's leave it on High Jump and, and Push, maybe? I'm just trying to think of ones that I might not have. Spin, I think I'm good. I feel like I did Counter-Strike before. We'll, we'll count to nine for Counter-Strike. So if in about 16 we don't get Time Burst, I know to do that. Let's try these new skills out. The Salmon Upstream, we can replace that with True Strike first. But honestly, something that raises our stats is probably never going to be replaced on our team. If we're in a long boss battle, I'd rather have that. She did the thing I didn't want her to do. Come on. That's the exact reason I don't like magic users in this game. Her trolling by casting during my animation, there's nothing I can do about that. Wow, I'm never going to be able to skill sample with her in the party. Blue blows. Oh, that time she didn't hit the target? Whatever. Target so far away. Maybe if I go here, it'll work. No, of course she does the full screen one. Of course she does. She's actually trolling. She's also using water magic on the clearly aquatic creatures. I think it's its own level of trolling. The AI blindly using that is kind of wild. Yeah, sadly, I don't think I'm going to be able to view the skills here, because she is not going to cooperate, which really sucks. So I think I'm willing to actually put her lower tier than Pearl. I'd rather have a character that does nothing and only crouches than a character that spans magic, to be real with you. Like, if other melee characters use a skill, that's whatever. 
but it's gonna be less frequent and at least they can melee in between so they don't interrupt my combos. Unfortunate. So anyway, all that was set up for... Love is Blind. If you remember, there was Gilbert at the harbor, who we've been avoiding. As I did not want to accidentally trigger this quest earlier. Oh! Pada Grand Prix. I guess we got the bonus quest. I wasn't expecting that. Hopefully this will not mess anything up. Hey, Slowpokes, this is called the free lunch system. Does that count towards the event list? I never technically started a quest. So that happened because I had Chocobo Racing for clarity. Oh, I actually can't tell if I did a quest or not there. That kind of sucks. Let's go back to the house. I don't want to go in the house yet. I just need to be in a place in which I can view the menu without starting another quest. So the downside is if you start another quest and complete another quest, you're going to erase a diary entry. So you will not get all the diary entries, the little cactus. Which drives me wild when I'm trying to clear them. Did that count as one? I don't think so. So anyway, we got the fastest wheel, which I think just speeds up revive time, but I'm going to be honest with you. We should not be dying at this point in the game. If I die, it's pretty much over. Our allies are not going to be able to survive boss fights on their own. So I'm glad we saw the bonus event there. I think at the end of the game, we'll play the little land mini game now that we got three by threes. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We got a lot of quests to go through tonight. I just wasn't sure if that one technically counted as an event. So we're, we're getting like the 100% star completion rate. <laughs> Since technically that one is 100% missable without the right save file. But I don't think it included it there. So I believe Gilbert was over here if I remember correctly. We saw him the last time we were going back and forth for the detective stuff. Yeah, there he is. Double exclamation mark. Monique! My name is L. Monique is my friend. But who are you? Oh, how could I have mistaken you for anyone I know? I'm Gilbert, a poet of love. Those deep-set eyes of yours. Those lush lips. You must be my passionate messenger of love, baby. Um... I don't think so. Oh, but that's how love starts, my love. You will eventually begin to feel the burning passion. Just you wait, darling, and you'll be mesmerized by my love. Goodbye. Damn, hearts, hardcore rejected chat. Goodbye is really hello to the beginning of true love. The wind will carry the lover's hearts to the sea. We shall sail into an ocean of love. Yeah, yeah, Gilbert, love is blind. I'm making a theme song for Ellen myself. I'll deliver it to you when it's finished. The wind knows the way. Oh, I was born to feel this throbbing in my heart. Glad he said heart there. Anything else you want to add, Gilbert? Oh, same thing. Alright, so all we're going to do is return to her. True love, says Calvisha. Hopefully things are going okay with you, Calvisha. How was uh, Animal Well? Yeah, I like the little blind emotes for Love is Blind. Nice touch. Maybe I really should make that Phoenix Blind emote. I've been thinking about it. The problem is, like, I just don't like editing. <laughs> Not gonna go 100% too much. That's fair.
Oh boy, I lost what my count was. I think I said three earlier. Yeah, I know we have enough evades. I'm pretty sure I have enough spins. Star attacks are actually messing up my combos. Phoenix is the blind lawyer, not Daredevil. I'll look into it again. I remember I had an image of him, but I wasn't satisfied with how the blindfold looked. It's hard to find a blindfold that goes directly to the right. So if you have suggestions for that, let me know. I couldn't find one that I was happy with. I was thinking it'd be like kind of white in color to pop out against his face. Level up. Oh, I should probably use the other techniques now that the other character is gone. Yeah, we'll use Shoe Strike in the next area. We'll build enough meter to use it here. Yeah, we should got it. We should have it. Wow. That was like a true combo on me. I could not get out of that. Save my life. You know, for an advanced technique, that was kind of boring. A little disappointed. Alright, so we've got to see what True Strike was. I believe we're at 4 or something like that. Let's try Dynamite X. I don't think anything competes with Boulder Dash, though. That ability is actually just broken. We'll say this one is for, for safety reasons. I lost track. I'm gonna have nine counter strike. It's easy for me to lose track what number I'm on if I go a long time without fighting. Especially since I'm resetting the count every now and then. I think that should be four. We need five more for counter strike. And I remember using it briefly, I just don't remember how many times we used it without looking at the skill list. Might have just been one counter strike and 12 counter attack or something. Wouldn't be good enough. Have you decided to stop singing outside? Yes, I don't want to sink any more ships. Let, let them sink, humans should swim or fly like we do. Why are they acting like they own the rights to the sea? We were the ones here first, and we're being punished for that. It's so ridiculous. I know, Flamshi. It only started when humans began to use ships. I know. Oh, you always say I know, no matter what I say. Please say I know. I'm sorry. Damn, that would have been good. I, I would have appreciated that dialogue. Don't apologize. It's who you are. I love that we're just literally listening to them basically say, go on, genocide the humans. And we're just not, we're not saying anything in these cutscenes. Are we anti-human in this run, chat? Ah, uh, the Emerald Sea. Huh? Oh, how the gentle undulation of the waves calms my soul. I shall drown myself in the sea of your love. Oh, Zephyr, carry the bird song to my heart. Gilbert? What the heck is that? That's Gilbert, Monique's ex-boyfriend. Wow, he really came. It doesn't seem to matter whether you sing or not. You're a natural magnet to weird things and people. That your singing had nothing to do with the shipwreck. 
By the way, can I go out there with you? We'll say yes. Oh, really? Thank you so much. Let's go. Oh, I was gonna talk to Flame She next, but apparently we got teleported out. Oh, L, you came! <laughs> Is that all in this game, too? Yeah, we investigated the uh, shipwreck earlier. Well, um, I didn't come out to see you. That's all right, L. What you're feeling is pre-love symptoms. No, I don't think that's what it is either. Just tell him. Tell him that you hate him. Oh, a mermaid girl. You're as beautiful as L. If I had a clone of myself, he would be in love with you. Oh, but L is the only one for me now, baby. Oh, jeez. This guy's weird. L won't be your friend if you go out with him. Oh, Flamshi. That's not a nice thing to say. I mean, Monique was his girlfriend. Thank you, L. You're so kind. Whoa. Look at the horizon. Can you see the ship over there? A ship? No, I don't see it. That ship is us, baby. So small compared to this vast sea. Let's go, L. Lover slowly retreating. Huh? Where are we going? Can I go get a bottle time to drink every time he says love? Oh no. You're probably not working to no tomorrow. Might not be living tomorrow. Don't let go of me, darling. We're going on to that ship on the sea. Given we have another quest with him, that'd be a terrible idea. Ah! Blue Donna XDing. Damn. Blue Donna telling the hard truths right now. <laughs> He's evolving. this works. It's a leaf attack? Seriously? I think by that definition alone, I'm not using it. It's hard enough hitting things with a big pause in between. I don't need him to also launch himself really far forward. That means I have to... Pr really? Wow, Chocobo kicked him out of the range. That sucked. That actually sucks so bad. I was even back up by like two character lengths preemptively. Choco Buddy actually trolling in real time. Then the trade. I think that's five. Should be six. So I gotta land this hit, but also still have enough to. And this. Is he really gonna walk out of range? Okay, there we go. Wait, but he wasn't looking at him in the right direction. That skill's terrible. We're never using that again. It didn't even power me up. That, that's like an F tier skill. Anything that doesn't immediately hit what's in front of me when most enemies will stop in front of me is pretty bad. There is pretty much no reason for me to use that skill. Quite terrible. I don't care what its damage modifier is, unless it legit one-shots, which it doesn't. Thank you. Yeah, so we're leveling up push, in case I didn't have enough. Should be six. Yeah, this skill right here is amazing. GG. He dodged it by jumping. Interesting. Should be seven. After this, I don't need the counter strike skill anymore. I could just equip anything. In fact, I think I might be done with using skills to unlock. I think the last thing we needed was a combination of moonsault and uh, whirl. 
This should be GG to all these enemies. The skill is so unfair and how powerful it is. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. What a beautifully broken skill, Chad. You're mathed out. What does that mean? You can't numbers anymore. That's unfortunate. I believe we're on seven. So two more and I can get rid of Counter-Strike. And I can put on a safety one for learning the other skill. Because we should have evade. I have push on, so if we don't have enough push, we were learning that gradually. Oh, your voice is so beautiful, my darling. Let us sing a song to praise our newfound love. You dot dot dots. Thank you, Gilbert. But I really can't. I can't sing. Don't say such sad things, sweet L. Things of a siren who doesn't sing wither, right? You knew that? But if I sing, ships will sink. Are you really sure that is what you should do? Whether I like it or not, this is who I am. Oh, a siren who doesn't sing, what a tragedy. But I don't want to sink any more ships. I think I gotta talk to the captain. Go find the captain. Ooh, we're testing my memory. I think the captain was on the left side. Upper room? Hey, I did it. Nice. Uh, captain? What is it, Penguin? Why the heck did you let that horse come aboard our ship? You haven't become artistic all of a sudden, have you? Listen, Penguin, I don't know art, but I know what a thing's worth. We'll capture them and sell them to a millionaire. Things are set up, and we're just waiting for the right moment. Whoa! You're a real baddie, Captain. Listen to me, Penguin. Real pirates ain't always gonna follow the right way. Pirates have both good and evil otters in their hearts. There you go. <laughs> That's a quote. Um, uh, otters, Captain? That's right, otters. Right now the evil otters clatter in seashells in my heart. Captain? This is moving! We're busy now. You gotta stay here, mate. To become a real dandy man of the sea like our captain. And you gotta stop saying those stupid jokes of yours. Oh no, we saw this one before. Murphy says, I just summoned a white map to optimize some enchants in Minecraft, not quite at the point where I can make a ton of stuff and everything for free yet. Oh. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna be honest with you, never played Minecraft. I've seen a little bit of it, but that's about it. To think of other ways to make a living. Nice one, Calvi Show. Untie the ropes. Don't you realize what you're doing? Gilbert! Tuh, the siren got away. Oh, the tragedy that awaited the poet of love. This is too much to take. Ah! Oh, stop it. What has gotten into you, penguins? <laughs> we be pirates after all. When we gotta do it, we do it. The dot dot dots. Oh, is she gonna sing? Oh, the poet will become the bubbles of the sea. So apparently she's singing when the spring comes to an end. I'm not gonna actually try to sing with her. <laughs> the ship just exploded. Holy. Wow, Chad. I didn't realize she she's casting, like, nuke or something on the boat. L. He says the color of the sky is aqua blue. Flower petals are floating in the air. We got a hole in the left hatch. 
This is not what I thought when I think of sirens, but apparently she's got the death voice. Not just lures people, straight up makes you explode. The flower wanted to go somewhere and decide to fly in the air. A Tesla mozzle is attacking us! Penguin Platoon 4, move it! The flower blooms in your hand. Please feel my love. Oh jeez, the orc is here. We're finished. Ship's gonna sink. Please help us, Trey. That was the most deadly siren song of all time. That's an orc? How... Do you mean orca? Did you forget a letter? I'm pretty sure that I'm chat. I'm just I'm just gonna say there's some creative liberties with names. This is not an orc. I'm sorry. Murphy says quick example, only on numbers of sharpness added point of damage and normal cap is five. You can only get sharpness four from just chaining swords. You have to combine two sharpness. Sharpness one is think it's really expensive. I would hope so. Rip the chocobo. Oh, attack was slightly too long. Oh, you're talking about the Kraken from Final Fantasy VI? Or uh, Ultra Simeon. He's an octopus. Wow, Axe is so OP. Bubble away. <laughs> he just exploded into treasure. That was interesting. Learned Time Burst. Is that the one that I was looking to grab? I think it was. It was. So we have 16 push, 20 spin, 14 evade. So I can focus on... Cheer 20, which I think we already did. Evade 18, which I think we already did. So I think we're done. I don't think I need to learn anything, but I could put on other skills if I want to. Captain, to be the siren who tried to sink our ship. L, run away before they kill you, love. If I run away, you are going to be the one that gets killed. I'm the one who did this. Well, already pay for what she did, is she? Did it hurt? So... I, I guess when she sings her siren song, ships literally explode and or summon demons. Stop it, penguins. Can't you tell when you see a real man of the sea? Dot, 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 dot. How could she harm someone who's sorry for what she's done? What? We almost got killed because of her. I'm sorry. All I wanted to do was to scare you. <laughs> With your death voice. But I almost caused a disaster. Don't blame yourself so much, young lady. Chip ain't gonna sink just because someone sang a song. Really? It looked like it was exploding earlier. It almost did. Penguin, stir up that peanut butter in your ears and think. The ship here easily weighs 3,000... I was gonna call it Dunkles. Wait. Doings? The links? I don't know if that was an uppercase I or just an L, to be honest with the apostrophe. Now, why do we suppose the ship doesn't just sink into the sea? Uh, I guess we don't know. Spirit, it be the spirit of us men of the sea. My spirit be 100, and you penguins are about one. You think a song will sink a ship held afloat by my manly spirit? Hey, dot 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 on that one. That ain't no story I made up, young lady. Try it. No, I can't. It really will sink. I don't care. All we have here are some penguins and a siren. And I'm some sort of sea mammal. Wait, he doesn't know what wal walruses are? Wait. I think it's more of an important revelation than anything else that's been said in the quest. 
A sinking ship ain't gonna do us any damage. We have a horse too, Captain. But I... Go ahead, sing. Sing your heart out. Not a horse. Is this when spring comes to an end? See, here we go again. Aw, oh, shut up. As the color sky is aqua blue. Let's hatch be completely destroyed. That happens every day. Go fix it. Flower petals, petal, flower petals are floating in the air. We got high waves coming on the starboard side. Men of the sea ain't scared of high waves. So the flower wanted to go somewhere and it decided to go fly in the air. Poop deck be about to go out. This ain't good. I don't care. You penguins don't have the guts. As the flower blooms in your hand, please feel my love. Shit finally done for. Everybody dot dot dots. G dot dot dots. We're still afloat? See what I'm talking about. Oh, how wonderful. Something to worry about, L. I came up with a new song. Oh, penguins are cranky because they don't have girlfriends. Make him walk the plank. Aye, aye, Captain. No! There you go, chat. Gilbert, love is blind. This is the quest I always miss because I forget to take her out of the cage. Does that mean I'm a penguin too? All oh, Lord Galfi Shun. We're gonna go ahead in that quest though. Well, apparently, what we learned in this quest, siren songs are very literally deadly and cause explosions everywhere. Uh, they don't know what walruses are. And also, we have two otters inside of us. And one of them clicks the seashells in her heart for evil, apparently. Deep lore, chat. We're learning the deep lore. Oh yeah, speaking of which. This will learn the final X skill. Short range, major damage. Words I don't want to hear on most items. Fluffy, fly away. So yeah, so that's the one I usually miss. Because I make the mistake of going to Geo. And so I've learned from doing that twice in a playthrough, don't go to Geo unless I really have nothing else to do to advance the plot. And now for the first time, we should be able to bring, let's say, Bud with us. And we should be able to learn what the students' names are, which previously we haven't... We haven't technically been told their names at any point. So now let's finally go to Geo. I've been avoiding this location forever. I mean, it has every single element at max, which is nice for materials. first. I hate school. You doing okay, Paprika? Okay, they are spices. Hey, is that you, ma is that your master? Where are you looking, Paprika? I'm the master, and this is my apprentice. And now if we talk to all the students, we'll get bonus dialogue. I think they say slightly different things if we're talking with, uh, Lisa. I hate adults who can't express themselves. 
I'm losing will answer my questions with yes or no. You doing alright, human? Hey, bud, you're alive. Of course. Not of course. If you don't breathe, you'll die, right? I was breathing. So why were you breathing? You'll die if you don't breathe, right? So you're breathing because you don't want to die, right? I bet you were saying, oh, I don't want to die, I gotta breathe. And he makes fake breathing sounds. I wasn't saying that. How come you're alive? I live because it's fun. <laughs> it might as well be Terrace Pharma, honestly. So you're saying, well, life's so fun, I gotta breathe. Yeah, that's right. You got a problem with that? Ah, uh, give me a break. What a weird conversation they just had. Talk to Tipo. Ooh, look how strong the base weapon is. Chat, ooh, fan myself down. Platinum weapons, finally. I get to have a real upgrade. I've been waiting, like, all game for this. So I'm immediately just gonna buy the axe. I mean, that's like, what, a 10 damage increase by itself? I don't even think our damage was all that bad, to be honest. So yeah, we just got tankier for the end of the game. So our odds of surviving a boss battle, pretty good. So if we want to go get some super weapons later, I could go buy a spear now, I guess, technically. Come back to that later. Is there any other weapon type I want to learn after this? Let me think. We, we had enough time. I could probably learn one more weapon before we finish the game. Wasn't a big fan of knife. I feel like I should probably use another two-handed thing. We did glove earlier. Bow's okay. Flail is kind of fun. Chad, did have any preferences between knife, sword, two-handed sword, two-handed axe, hammer... I don't want to do staff because that is just so terrible. It's meant for spellcasting and we're not spellcasting. It's going to take forever to kill anything. Flail or bow. I'll talk with the students as chat decides. Looks like everyone's boycotting school. How you doing, Estragoon? Estragon? Estragon. Bud, heard you're doing okay. Oh, that's it for the conversation. I don't like school no more. Am I a bad boy? How you doing, Mace? Doing? Oh. How come the other person had that long conversation the others only said, like, five words? Yeah, I mean, I can learn... Let's see. We got this super sword. I think we have a flail on me. Doomhammer is the most inappropriately named weapon so far. Yeah, I guess I don't need to buy anything technically, unless I wanted to do two-handed axe or something. I think our current weapons are probably good enough. I didn't see chat and clamoring for another weapon type. We're just talking to random people. Hopefully this will not trigger a quest, or I'm gonna feel very sad. Oh, we saw you before. There's no sparkle. Hope not this one either. My name is Alex. I'm a jewel merchant. What can I do for you? I'll ask you questions. Jewels. Regular jewels. Precious stones grow deep inside the earth over long periods of time. They're very weak and fragile. Beautiful, yet frail. Which stone shall I discuss? They get more valuable towards the top. Oh man, there's a lot of these. Clarius. Clarius simply means most precious and isn't the name of any type of stone. The title's only given to stones possessing the perfect sparkle and shine. I think this might be relevant for the final side quest at some point. Ask about diamond. Very hard stone. The sign marks in color cut quality in carrot. I've even heard of a huge diamond called Venus. Ruby. Also known as Corundon. The ruby is another hard stone. Usually found in red or pink. I've heard of a ruby that burns bright red called the Flame of Hope. Dumb only is about 80% of the shine needed. Oh no. Let's talk about sapphire. This is also Corundrum. Rubies are red, while sapphires are blue. The stone called Drowned Dreams that is as blue as the ocean. Oh, I don't think we've interacted with that yet. It'll be relevant later. Emeralds are fragile stones, and very few are without scratches. I've heard of a stone called the Lucky Clover. People say those who gather the four stones will be blessed. 
So we're getting war on the different stones in the universe. Lapis lazuli is made up of several minerals and has a deep blue color. Part of a blue stone called the Sky of Dust. Ask about pearl. Pearls come in many colors, like white, black, and pink. How pearls are created is a mystery. Some say they come from the sea. Others say they fall from the moon. Do you not know about oysters? I wonder what the truth might be. There's a pearl called the Lost Moon. It's a mysterious stone which travels from owner to owner. Alexandrite. A rare stone which is green by day and purple by night. Well. Yeah, let's go back. Let's ask about Jumi cores. Jumi core or dummy? I don't know how to say it. Jumi cores contain magic and the power of life. That's why they've been hunted throughout the ages. You're not looking for cores, are you? I'm gonna say no, I'm not. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what if I say yes? I shall never sell cores for money. What if I say I don't know? What is your response to that? Jimmy die if you take their cores from them. Please remember that. Well, I guess if we had done Geo earlier, this would have been relevant for earlier. Sometimes the world's mana energy crystallizes to a form of a mana stone. I've never seen one, have you? I'm gonna say no, I haven't. No, I didn't think so. Mana energy is unpredictable. So for it to crystallize is a one in a million chance. Oh, so it's like an uber dropping. Got it. We'll say we saw one. Really? Perhaps you saw an imperfect one. Said the true mana stone is in the sanctuary. Said that whoever touches it is granted a wish. Well, I guess that'll be- Oh, we didn't ask about the jewel hunter. Oh, there's there's quite a few things to talk about here. Let's ask about the jewel hunter. She's only after the most valuable jewels. She always sends a note before she strikes again. And ask valuable jewel jewels. Yes, Inspector Boyd has even advised the store to be careful. That's about Inspector Boyd. The short, loud mouse man, he's after the jewel hunter. Once you see him, you'll never forget him. The victims. I heard that some of the victims are Jumi. Perhaps if Jumi really are doomed to die out. So if we talk to her again and ask about a note, I don't know the details. And what if we say she? Yes, I heard she's a woman. Okay, let's ask about the Jumi. Racial qualities, legends, and traditions. That's about qualities. There's much about the Jumi that is unknown. This is all I know. They're known for their long lifespans and the fragility of their cores. Jumi can live as long as its core remains undamaged. Cores are fragile when other races view them as jewels. They're hunted for their cores ages ago. Ask about legends. One thing I often hear is, all who cry for the Jumi shall turn to stone. Oh, that is actually super relevant for the next quest. The legend forbids any contact with the Jumi. Traditions. Jumi have many traditions. Ask me anything. Let's ask about the strata. The strata are the ranks of the organization for Jumi cores. The top of the stratum is the Clarius, followed by the strata of the Lucidia and half Lucidia. The stratum of the Clods at the bottom. Oof, imagine being called a Clod. The guardian who occupies the stratum of the Clarius is the symbol of the entire race. Let's ask about the guardians and knights. The Jumi are divided into two roles. Knight and Guardian. The Knight fights while the Guardian heals. Various old tombs, or tomes, excuse me, describe the Jumi as always working in pairs. Okay. So we're getting a lot of lore that the game kind of references? So we'll see some of that play out very soon since we're going to be doing their quest next. Say sorry, Carl. I hate war. I could never like magic used for war. But you do in oregano. Your dad was a dropout student, wasn't he? Better than your dad. Damn. So boring at school. How you doing, turmeric? Hey, bud. Are you now the greatest sorcerer ever? Hey, Tipo's also here? How many Tipos are there? Okay, so we go to the mineral store. Yeah, see, now I can just straight up buy platinum and iron, so if I want to make stronger items later, I think I got everything I need. So we're going to avoid the inn. We don't need to do anything there. We went to the jewel store. We talked to basically everybody. 
Simply some of my leaves away. After a good dream, I like to skip school and go for a walk. How you doing, time? Hey, bud. Having good dreams? See, all that extra dialogue is because you brought him there. So I figured it was kind of worth bringing. Let's get a little more lore. Oh, darling, my shimmering goddess. When I see your eyes, I'm so fascinated I can't move an inch. Sorry, kiddo. You'll be petrified if you stare into my eyes. Oh, there's Niccolo. We'll be interacting with him soon. Heavens, I've never felt this way before. I feel it all over. Look, kiddo, I'm part basilisk. You're not feeling love. It's preliminary petrification. Got it? How poetic. I turned to stone for you, my love. Listen, my sweet, my charming tenor. Yeah, baby. Uh, um... What? I, I don't think I'm going to repeat that line that he just said. Oh, please don't leave me. Have fun. My students are boycotting. Gotta go find them. <laughs> well, I could do that sort of thing, darling. Just need all your students to go back to school. Well, yeah, that'll sure help me out. Darling, all oh, your soul. Oh, I must stop. I'll melt if I keep thinking about her. Gilbert, school amore. Well, there's something I need your help with. I need to convince my darling students to go back to school. What do you say? Will you help me out? We'll say I'll do it. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. You must be so popular. No reason for going back to school or for staying here. Big do as you please. Don't look at me like that. I hate adults because I am who I am. I don't want to repeat the mistakes they made, ever. How you doing, Saffron? I don't know. I wasn't born to go to school. Ask what for then. I don't know. How you doing, Mint? Hey, bud. Looks like you're doing good. Right now, we're all boycotting school. For some reason, I just don't want to go. Maybe the quality of instruction isn't too good. I don't know. I just don't feel like going. Those have gotten a lot prettier than they used to be. But it's all show. No elegance at all. Sure, fleshy magic is good for two or three castings, but isn't that enough? I want to learn more simple, more meaningful spells, but I wish I knew what the teachers were thinking. We're gonna say you're right. I think elemental properties are a good thing. If you have to use different elements, in the end they're the same. Which one has its weakness and strength, so you have to know how many, right? Then everyone will just end up the same, right? I think the school is set up just so they can make it money. I suspect the teachers are just messing with the figures that decide our futures. Wow. There we go, social commentary here. But I think there are times we should doubt them. And even if they're not, it says a lot that I'm suspecting them. The faculty says it's not their problem, but that it's ours. I can't stand it with them saying things like that. How you doing, Clove? Why are you asking me? Alright, so let's see if they let's see if we answered correctly. So I think I could just go back in. Hmm. Older are they supposed to be again? I don't know. Probably like 14 or something. Uh, I'm gonna tell them all to go to school now. Go back to school only because it's on my way. There we go. Go back to school just to tell them where I would really want to go. Okay, so I only got one of the answers wrong. That's fine. So we're just going to make sure they say they're going back to school. Also, I don't know why it has to keep telling me it's Dryad Day. I don't think that's really relevant here. There we go. So we got three to go back to school. Let's go to the right side. I hate school. I say I hate school too. Wow, I'm so relieved to hear that. A good dream. I'd like to skip school and go for a walk. We'll say that's not good. Back to school I go. Go to school tomorrow. We're just trying to do our best to make sure everybody goes. Uh, 
Why? So I told him I'm not listening, and now he's gonna go back to school. I'm gonna say he's the bad boy for not going to school. What if I say no, you're not? There we go. That person might not go until everybody else is done. But I think we're succeeding, question mark? Hmm. We gotta go through here. Boring at school, we'll say yeah, it's boring. Sick of being they're sick of being picked on, so they're gonna go back to school. Oh, there was a famous warrior who was meant to fight the demon lord. He searched for the strongest armor in all the world. Alvishan says save free pizza for lunch. There we go. So he went, he went deep underground to the land of the Locusts. There he performed great deeds and was given Locust armor, the strongest armor in the world. Locust King awarded the armor to my dad. He said this, Once you don the armor, you cannot take it off or you'll die. I put on the Locust armor, battled with the Demon Lord and won, but when peace returned, my dad forgot the King's word and took the armor off. Locust wings grew from his bare back. After that, he buzzed around from morning to night for a week's time. Then, no one, then one morning, we found him near the kitchen, all stiff and dead. What? Why is he running around? He screams daddy and leaves. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what this has to do with the boycott of school, I'll be real with you. Apparently he'll go back, he just wanted to tell us the tale. Are we missing anybody? We went to the other shops. Tell him to stick with it. That's Grandpa Sage. Why, hello, Grandpa Bud. How are things? Wow, you sure have perfected your Grandpa speak. That's right, Sonny. At school, I'm the king of the old timer speak. Whatever you say. When I was young, we didn't talk like that to our elder Sonny. A weird conversation. School sure isn't fun. We'll say you can make it fun. Guess I could be more of a class clown. How you doing, Dill? How do I look? I think we're getting there. There's a lot of people I have to talk to. I'm gonna say, How come he's still standing? I got his homework. Still standing, Brownie? That's right. Like school, okay. I'm looking for a specific place. Thing to do in the principal's office at the moment. So I think we're making pretty good progress. I think we have like one last building to go through. Everyone's boycotting school. No, it's fun. Everyone's saying it's not. I study with my classmates. I'll say, uh, go with the flow. Hey, yeah, go with the flow. Then everyone will study with me. How you doing, Cayenne? Not so good. My handle is the Green Wiggly. Detecting experiments in telepathy. Close your eyes. Can you see the green wiggly? I'll say yes. Yeah, that's me. Try sending a message. Concentrate on the green wiggly. Well, did you see something? Say nothing? Hmm. Must be on different wavelengths. How you doing, Rosemary? Hey, the green wiggly sends you messages all the time. I've never been able to understand you. Alright, so I did something wrong. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna choose the first option then. To say that we see marching ants. Wow, alright, we're on the same wavelength. Did you see them looking lost at the beginning? I'm gonna say clearly. Ha, huh, just testing you, but I didn't send that vision. I'll cut it out and study. I'll focus on studying. There's the Nunazak who we didn't see at all before. I am Nunazak, Hondro Extraordinaire. Well, we'll talk to the other teacher. I think we got everybody except for the one in the item shop. We could conduct an experiment if Nunuzak wasn't here. Like the way that's phrased, but sure. Hmm. I 
I guess I could actually see what's in this area before we go further. Magic is everything. My name is Esmeralda. I'm gonna be a magic warrior. I'm gonna fight hard. Hello. Well, there's the teacher we were chasing around before. I guess they forgave him for his evil crimes earlier, question mark? So hopefully that was everybody, except for the one person in the item shop. And if I miss somebody, this is gonna be real awkward. Is it you that was saying it? Not all students go back to class. There we go. We did manage to do it. Your pupils seem to be back in your beautiful arms now. Yeah, now we can have real classes. Bye now. Whoa, hold on, darling. What do you mean, bye now? After you're done with the kids, how about you and me go on a little date, hmm? You are so annoying. Let me go already. Turn you to stone if you keep pestering me. Oh, turn me to stone, baby. Make a statue of my gorgeous body, darling. You want to keep me forever? Oh, how romantic. We could do it, baby. Sculpt our eternal happiness together. Hmm. Sculpt your eternal happiness alone. No way, baby. Also, she said happiness with one S. Gilbert, school and more. So if we go back to Geo, I believe he's petrified. Insert Majora's Mask baby here. I don't know what that means, to be honest. I didn't play through enough of Majora's Mask, I think. I think that game and Final Fantasy VIII instilled a dislike for time limits. Even if Majora's is a soft time limit, I just really didn't like how that dictated the pace of the game. I was not pleased. <laughs> there we go. Talk to him. I'm not repeating that. I don't know if they meant that to not sound crude and lewd, but I'm not repeating that either way. The character that's basically a surfer dude that would say baby. Interesting. I did not get very far in it. I don't even think I got all the main masks. I definitely never beat the game. I might have stopped at, like, the Goron mask? I don't think I got the Zora mask. Uh-oh, somebody trying to spam links. Uh-oh, but fell over. That's not good. I don't want to interact with that. Chat, Bud can stay dead for a little bit. I have some other quests I need to be doing. Sorry, Bud. I really don't want to go out of event order. I know you're ill, but you're just going to have to lay there on the floor. Hopefully we don't need him for anything. So let's go back to Geo. Yeah, he just got wrecked, chat. <laughs> So doing this would mess up the other quests, for clarity. Oh, the... The stupid delay in input when you're ill. Why do they do that? It's so annoying. I was holding right, and then I was going up, and then I went left, because I wanted to check another place. But the stupid delay because of it showing the place made me not go anywhere. Actually, wait a minute. I think I'm gonna go to the school, right? go here. There we go. Yeah, I want to go here.
Hi, I'm Christy. I own the place. I'm the power steward, and they call me Sotheby. Let's see. Storage room. Wait, how did he get here? Monique, my true love. I came to a town you know not. Fell in love with a woman and sang a song you know not. I have become a person you know not. A rabbit-eared merchant came and sold me to a woman of wealth. I mean, we literally, we literally passed him on the way in here. How did he beat us here? And here I am in a dark, cold warehouse. Sadness envelops me, but I cannot cry, for I have become stone. All I could do is reminisce about our childhood. We fought each other so often, but the time we shared was full of joy and laughter. Wish to sing you a love song once again, Monique. Gilbert, resume for love. Or it could be resume, I guess. I mean, I'm not even sure how he carried him here that quickly, but yeah, he's a pretty good salesman. So here's where this is probably the most obtuse quest. So, like. We interacted with this, I think, literally once. We have to go back to the mines. We have to specifically go back to Roger's room. Even though we talked about reciting poems, I don't know if you were supposed to connect that you have to go to another poet. So if you recall a long time ago in our playthrough, Roger had a book of poems. I don't know if I would have immediately thought Roger. I would have thought going back to Monique would have been correct. Or perhaps the other uh, sirens are talking to the teacher. But no. So let's try reading the book now. Book of Poems. You want to read it? Read it. So there's the twinkle twinkle little star. Why do you twinkle the way you do? Are you laughing because you're just too happy? Or is the cold wind making you shiver? Hey. You, don't go reading my poems like that. I'm Roger, leader of the diggers. This time the mines will shake. Hmm. Mine ceiling may cave in at any time. Hey, hey, Dudbear. Dub. Go get something that'll stop the cave-ins. All right, the show's over. Bye now. So, like, even if I saw that, I don't know if I would have assumed that it meant that I just immediately go back again. I don't know. S some of the quests are a little... weird. Like, some of them are fairly straightforward. Some of them are kind of, like, guessing games or, like, figuring out, like, sales orders. I don't know. This is one of the more questionable ones to me. Anyway, we gotta read the book of poems again. Now when we talk to Roger this time, something different will happen. I remember playing this a long time ago because I was like, how do I advance this quest? Or statue we brought from Christy seems to be supporting the ceiling. Put it in a special place, so don't move it. So now we gotta go find the horse statue. AKA the centaur. Oh wow, we are really strong. I can just kill them with a single light attack. It's a good feeling. So I think it's near the entrance at least. I'm just gonna make my way back towards the entrance. If it's not there, I apologize for wasting time. So we're gonna go up past the save statue to go back to the beginning. Assuming it's near the workshop or something like that. Yeah, there's the save statue that I was talking about. Where? We're just gonna keep going up. Of 
poor moles. Man, the movement of this is insane. Even if I didn't have Crouch, the ability to just move out of the way of like any attack is insane or reposition. Definitely one of the better weapons in the game. Just due to the easy stun locks, the slight distance, the powerful skills, the power ups. One handed sword might be better technically, but man, X is pretty good too. I think it's here. No. And not in the workshop. Could be over here. See the statue. Unless I just walked by it and didn't notice it. Check one more time in here just to make sure I'm not super blind. Yeah, I don't see anything in here. Interestingly, we could buy stuff from him, but most of it's pretty terrible. And so we placed the mine so early. Just figured I'd make mention that you can technically buy items from that character, because I don't think we ever tried that before. On the plus side, we're probably going to learn another weapon technique set, though. Hmm. I thought he was there. Maybe it's worth looking this up. Yeah, let me go look it up, just because it, we, we could end up walking in circles for quite a while in case there's something else I have to do. Before I go too far, just want to make sure that we don't need to worry about anything too crazy. Thank you, Calvisham, for stopping by. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, it wasn't here. I was like, I was thinking about it, I didn't actually find it in time, and I'm like, wait a minute, there was a dark room that didn't do anything. I remember mentioning at the beginning of the playthrough, I thought something was in here. Monique, I miss you, your voice was absolutely phenomenal. And Flamshi, you were so charming when I saw you at the harbor. Miss Kathinja, I won't hate you for turning me into stone. Madam Mei Mei, Elle, Rachel, Miss Yuka, I love you all. Now we know where the statue is. On the plus side, I should have everything I need for the final X skill. So I guess I could get rid of Counter-Strike, since I'm pretty sure I don't need it anymore. We've done at least nine with that. So we can move it to Cheer if I really want to. Which we definitely don't need anymore. So we'll do... I Jump and Cheer, just in case I don't have it. But I'm pretty sure we do. I'm pretty sure I went out of my way for cheer and evade. I think we have like 24 evade from the other one. So if nothing else, we're just getting extra use. So push should be at like 20 something. I don't need to worry about that anymore. Counter strike, I think is at least at 16. So that should cover us for every other ability in the game, hopefully. 
But if for some reason we're off by some uses, we should learn them soon. Okay, so now that we've seen the statue, now we can go back to Muni. shop I believe is in the northeast. We're testing my memory of the game, especially after breaks. I believe it was the northernmost building here. There we go. Hello, I'm Monique, the lamp maker. I heard that Gilbert was turned into a stone statue. Is it true that he is now somewhere in the mines? Say yes. Well, it's none of my business. I think I'll go to the beach to relax. There we go. Now let's follow after her. Now fortunately, the other quest should be fairly short in comparison. And we're going to get through probably like another 7 to 8 today. And then next week, I think we'll be done with the game. Since we've now seen all the bonus events from our save files. We gotta show off the mini game and then just actually beat the final dungeon. We haven't quite unlocked the final area yet. Technically, there's one more area we haven't seen, because we haven't advanced any of the story quests with the Jewel Hunter. And that will be the final area of the game, and that will be a lot harder than I think the Tree of Mana place will be at this point, due to how late we're placing it. Though it could have some scaling to make the Sword of Mana so hard, based off the number of properties. Versus the time it was placed. The star attack is so annoying. Ooh, that was such a good rhythm. I'm gonna miss Axe, Chad, I'm not gonna lie, it's so strong. level. I think if I had to play this game again, I'd either stick to Fist because I find it funny, or I'd probably use, or not Glove, I'd probably use, I could be talked into using Flail if I do need distance for something, or I think I'd play One-Handed Axe. Really love One-Handed Axe, although I think for stats, Sword is technically the best, if you just equip One-Handed Sword most of the game pretty good. Not that axe is terrible. Again, that only really matters if you're looking to optimize your stats. Most of the time, I'm not going to get anywhere near 99, unless I'm doing like a new game plus kind of thing. In that case, I might just rush through story mode. Do whatever I can on that file. That's more for hardcore grinders. I don't think we'll play nightmare mode or new game plus equivalency stuff. I'm good. I like the core game for what it is. I don't really want to go into one-shot city. Hmm. Man, those attacks are- that, those attack loops are so satisfying, chat. On the plus side, constantly going back and forth through here has been leveling us pretty steadily. Also, I just want to point out the Chocobo almost says 999 HP. By the way, chat, what, what are these stats? Kevin legit unkillable right now. What a beast. So he is... So I have a defense of 9s and 12s across the board. He is defense of 14 pretty much across the board. And he is double our health. Yeah, that Chocobo actually gonna be the MVP of carrying for sure. Beefy Chocobo for sure. He never skips beak day at the gym. Okay. Should have a cutscene here now. 
Gilbert is a weird guy, but I guess we should still help him. You think so too? But I wonder what we could do. Hmm. Maybe ask the sorcerers at the Academy of Magic. Hmm, I don't know. Oh, hi, Monique. When did you get here? Hello, Flamshi. Hello. Are you talking about Gilbert again? Oh, you were listening to us. No, I wasn't listening. I just happened to hear you. Who on earth wants to hear anything about him? My, you don't have to hate him that much. I don't understand why Monique likes that guy. His sirens go for anything that sings. You know that's not fair to her. Okay, okay. Fall in love with whatever you want. <laughs> the mermaid is kind of the worst. <laughs> Monique, memorize the spell I'm gonna say now. I'll say it only once, okay? Huh? A spell? It's the first time she's been helpful all game. But she's not telling you to kill people. I'll lift any curse if it was cast by the cursed one's most beloved. It's a famous spell among the mermaids. It's kind of a kind of long, so listen carefully. Ready? So anyway, chat, we now have to memorize this song, by the way. <laughs> so chat chat can make their guesses. As to what the song is. So let's let's read it out loud. Heavens bless the earth with life-giving showers of rain. The ancient memories of Mother Earth fill our souls with bliss. Know the truth that is the ultimate tower of energy for all. Oh, Flamshi, that's too long. Well, too bad. And then she doesn't repeat it. <laughs> Could you imagine, chat? You're like, oops. She's a kind girl, but she can be so harsh sometimes. I will go try it out. Uh, I'm not talking to her because I don't want her in our party. I'll be real with you. Now, that, that was a lot of words. I, I have selectively remembered a few words in each of the phrases, and hopefully that'll pass me by. So the way I kind of do it to help memorize that kind of stuff without writing it down, I look at the nouns that are in the sentence, and sometimes I'll put a verb in between them. So for example, from that last little bit we have, I know it's heaven bless earth, and then it's showers of rain. Right? I'm not going to memorize the whole thing verbatim. Then I remember it was ancient memories. We learned karma. Mother Earth. Bliss. Then finally, ultimate tower of energy, because that phrase was ridiculous. And that's how I've chosen to remember it. Let's see if that's good enough to complete the quest. We have learned... Wide area attack extreme damage. Uh... Huh. That's something. I guess we'll try this. Ultimate Tower, CCA flashbacks. So yeah, chat, just let me know what weapon type you want me to use. We'll, we'll see it after this one. I have on me two-handed sword. We have... Hammer. Knives were kind of disappointing. Two-handed axe, flail. And that's all I'm willing to really use. Or bow. I guess I could technically use bow. Although, if we go back, I'll have to purchase a new bow. Chat wants to see that full time. Let's see what this ability is all about, and then we'll move on. So it said wide AoE, right? What is this attack? Oh. And it gives all stat ups? <laughs> wow. Chat, wow. That, how is Axe not the best weapon in the game? So you're telling me I have a full screen max damage attack, an AoE that's perfect for enemies that dodge, and it buffs me. That's, 
Ridiculous. What a ridiculous weapon. Oh, uh, if I had my uh, deception thing, I would roll. All right, let's number these. I'm gonna say number one is gonna be hammer. Two is knives, three is two-handed axe, four is flail, five is two-handed sword. I don't want to use staff. Staff is terrible. Six is bow. Yeah, let's roll a d d6. Got a four. So, I remember which one that was. So I offered... Hammer, two, three, four. So that'll be the flail. That's fine. I'd like the flail. It's very awkward, but there's something about beating people with it that I enjoy about it. So I inevitably need to get spin to 25. Though I actually do need to put more points in spin, I think. Everything else I think we have already, to be honest with you. I legitimately think we have everything other than spin at 25. Um, we already know slide. I know. I guess if I'm not sure, I could put on counter attack for later. I guess. I'm pretty sure I also have enough uses of that. Have I looked into weapon crafting? At this point, you could probably make a better flail than that easily. I don't really want to, to be honest. I think the game is easy enough. I could just go purchase better at this point. Ooh, the power attack is kind of awkward. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There's the rhythm. I'm trying to figure out what the rhythm it wanted was for the rapid cancels. Yeah, I mean, if I really want to, I can make like a 20 to all stats nonsense item. I'm not interested in breaking the game that hard. I'd rather have some respectable challenge to the game. Otherwise, I'll just get bored of the combat. A mid-range attack. Well, welcome, Kaiser. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, it's kind of like a charge ability. I really like that. These things are so annoying because of the star attack. I don't care about the others. Been a tough week? Sorry to hear that. Hopefully things improve. Yeah, we'll go purchase a new set of flails. In a little bit. There we go. We're rapid canceling now. I mean, does that even look like I have like a super weak weapon? I mean, this is pretty dumb. Look at this. Yeah, like, I think that would make more sense if I was playing, like, the Steam version and I could skip combat encounters. But since I'm going to be in encounters anyway, I don't think it really matters. What am I setting Sun on one of our abilities? Ooh, another short-range ability. Yeah, it's just kind of like a very obtuse system. I know what it wants me to do, but without sitting there and looking at, like, the charts to say, like, oh, each of these things give specific elements, and then these things give specific stats. It's just kind of a mess. Like, honestly, it, if they had just, like... I'll, I'll give an example of, like, that would have made me do it more in, like, a casual sense. I would have liked if when you decide to craft, or whenever you, get, whenever you go to use produce, if the game had just told you what it adds with, like, a little help menu thing... That would have been, like, such a big quality of life change, it would have been unreal. Because then you would have been able to make, like, more informed choices without just, like, consulting some arbitrary chart to figure out what materials are worth doing. You know what I mean, chat? Like, there's ways they could have kept the system pretty much the same and just made it a lot better. And, like, some of that is, like, you know, it's a PS1 game, but some other things are, no, it really is just that terrible for no reason. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it was more of a thing later on in life to uh, decide to give players more information. 
And even when you're on menus like this, you can't really see, like, your other stats at the same time either. It's kind of unfriendly menu. Like, it's simple to navigate, but when you're trying to compare things, it could be kind of annoying to not be able to see your stats. Because a lot of them add things like defense or elemental resistance. And hitting, like, L1 and R1 on that screen don't do anything. But anyway, we got a small bonus. Yeah, like, if we really did not want to play the game, we would just get, like, seven or eight super weapons, give them to the golem, and just let the game play itself. <laughs> it would take a while, because you have to do a lot of wind caps for money, because all the stones cost, like, a thousand, and it's, like, seven to eight stones and an item, and then you have all the other crafting components, which you might also have to buy, depending on where you are in the game. It's like, eh... It's okay. Yeah, this player should make things go pretty quickly, at least. Like, I think where it makes sense is, like, if you already have the basic components for something like the wind cap... We did the wind cap for money earlier, since I don't... I think grinding for money is dumb and not worth doing. Because this game's drop rates for money are hilariously terrible, unless you craft that. Like, that I totally get, and I'm all for that. I just don't think I really want, like, a 10 to all stat... Share XP nonsense item. It takes two light attacks to kill. That's fine. We're already splitting our XP to give the game more of a chance. Because normally you would never bother with that in a serious run. You would just take all the XP. And they get mad every time the NPC takes it from you. Let's see if we kill in a power attack. Okay, we do. That's all that matters. So good enough. Phoenix wings acquired. Nice. It's all nearby foes for minor damage. Eh, could be better. So let's see if we remember the song. Gilbert. A harmony ended up in Discord. But you're still a good friend of mine. Start over your quest for love again. But you first need to come back. Okay, I'm ready, Trey. Please help me out. Heavens bless the... Uh... I believe it was Earth with Life. Earth with Life. Life giving showers of rain. Yep. Uh, spider web memory. I think it's the ancient memories. The ancient memories of. G dot dot dots. Um. Uh. I believe it was fill was the action word. Of the mother earth, fill our souls with bliss. Okay, that that sounds correct. Know the truth. Know the truth that that is the ultimate tower <laughs> of D-Day cake. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I believe it was energy because that line was ridiculous. Of energy for all. So yeah, I did not remember the whole phrase, but definitely give him some options help there. Oh, Monique, Gilbert. Onikum, I don't know what to say, but thanks. That sounded just like the good old Gilbert that I know. Again, I'm not sure if that's resume or resume for love. I think both kind of make sense. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and save the quest. And we're finally going to talk to Niccolo. Do the next set of quests. We're actually making pretty good progress with quests today. We're gonna be down to probably, as I said before, seven or eight at this rate. Because this next one should go very quickly. Hopefully I still have a gator skin from before. Yeah, we're at 55. We should be done with this one, like, almost instantly. We'll be in the final 12 already. 
We're still gonna play for like another two hours. We're gonna leave Bud on the floor. I'm like, listen, listen. He's, he's not in the quest order. All I looked up was the quest order. And there's like a very small list of prerequisites for the quest to help me remember. But aside from that, we're just doing quests. It's all testing how much I remember from like 20 years ago. Which so far has been not that bad. I think there's only been like two dungeons where I got like a little confused. And then for the more for the more lengthy ones, I remember getting lost in them for so long that I just remembered the dungeon. Like I didn't get it first try, so therefore I remembered how to get through it. So that was convenient. But I believe there's only two more Niccolo quests. So we have Business Unusual 4, and I think it should be Calls It Quits, right? Yes. Those are the next two actually on the list. This one should be fairly straightforward at least. It is kind of sad that I basically have to dodge conversations with a lot of NPCs in this game because I don't want to accidentally start up quests. But oh well. Such is life, I guess. Now, was he to the right or to the left? Find out in a moment. Oh, here it's here. Well, we meet again. Lots of goods to sell. I should be in need of materials now. The secret of sales is sincerity. Come with me to the Oaken Mines. Sure. All items come with a free smile delivered by yours truly. Nicolo's Business Unusual Part 4. Del Chant, let's find out. Do I still have a Gator skin? I believe I purposely avoided using it. We did pick one up earlier. Yes, and we picked up exactly one earlier from a previous quest. I think that was one of the first items we were given. So that ends up being kind of a big troll if you sell it, because then you have to go to the inn, I think, to get it as a backup. But instead, we're going to make this one of the shortest quests in the game. We're literally just going to go to Ulken Mines and complete it. Although, I guess arguably, when you go to Domina and you're trying to feed the hatchling items, I guess that one's technically a little faster. Assuming you have all the items. This will be the fastest in our playthrough, I'll put it that way. So all we gotta do is just go to the shop. Yeah, out of curiosity, what level is Niccolo? He's also level 30. And we're almost done. How simple. Hello there, I'm the wondering Niccolo. Peddler smiles. Whoa, Niccolo, eh? Real busy right now, unlike you. Do your thing and be off. Oh, business businessman, I understand. Here. And here. And here. Alright, I'll be back later. Go back inside. Hello there. I'm here to collect my payment. Payment? Payment for the 30,000 lucre worth of Lorenz silver that I left. Here. Here. And here. Lorenz silver? Where? I don't see none. That's because you used it all up without noticing. That'll be 30,000 lucre. You dot dot dots. Why, you swindling? I'm not a swindler. I'll give you enough silver to make a tank. If you can't pay, then I'll have you work it off. Wait, all right. But right now I haven't enough money. I'll take good in, goods in lieu of payment, then. Take the weapons here. Wait one moment. I've got a lot of money in my wallet. But I can't pay because I've lost it. Can we work out a deal? I need you to bring me gator skin. And I can make a new wallet. How will making a new wallet help? What? I had 50,000 lucre in my wallet. Once I make it, I can pay you the 30,000 lucre. I don't think that's how that works. I'll just take these weapons and armor. Wait up, you. Believe in the miraculous Watts. Make a wallet the exact same size and pay an extra 10,000 for the gator skin. You're out of your mind. Quiet, you. 
We'll listen to you till you bring the gator skin. And now the quest is over, because I'm just going to go back inside with the gator skin. You brought me the gator skin, right? Hand it over. Yes. Now for one of Watt's miracles. Go outside. I can just go back inside again. Look here, Niccolo. It's a wallet exactly like the one I lost. I'll pay you 40,000 lucre for the silver and the leather. What the? There's no money. Fool. You two. You took me when you gave me the gator skin. Thieves. Look who's talking. I'll just take this. And this. And this. In lieu of payment. I'll be back when you're low on materials. Adios. I reckon. I'm really... A fool. But um, shh, I guess. So anyway, we just helped a swindler basically steal from a blacksmith. I really question our character's morality in this game. I feel like we just kind of stand by when they talk about killing humans and... You know, we, we are working for some very obvious demons and bad guys. Like when we teamed up with literally the dragon in hell to go kill other things. Or if he says morality, what's that? Does it taste good? I don't think our character knows what it is. Maybe it'll be a big surprise to them. But we're gonna go ahead in the quest again. So at the very end of the playthrough, we'll reflect on all the quests that we've done. I was originally gonna do it per session, but then I was like, you know what? There's just going to be too many quests. Stream Elements was the Star of Destiny. That's a new one. Boy, Blue Donna. Confused as always. Yeah, I'm making super solid progress for sure. we're gonna do now is go back to Geo. So we're following up with Niccolo. Progress is being made. This might be the first time I've ever had a 100% run not get messed up by something dumb. So I think so far we are on track for getting every quest in the game, including the save file only ones. Stay in bed. Medicine will- Oh no, I threw them out of order. I think a cash should also be the place, but madam, we can waste the ten William Wooker by sewing madam's art. If we explain our predicament, he might grant us some relief. He won't. He's not that soft. He's a monster. A monster with rabbit ears. Oh, never mind. This is the quest. Never mind. I thought we were doing Blessed Elixir. Disregard. Let's talk to them. Welcome to Christine Company. I apologize for my fatigue. Please direct all inquiries to Sotheby. Christy has fallen ill. He ordered some medicine from a traveling merchant, but he charges 10 billion wooker. We didn't have that much cash on hand, so we didn't know what to do. Okay. So this is where, like, you kind of have to hunt around for him, which is kind of annoying. But fortunately, I at least have the locations of where he's at to save us some time. Even I did not remember where he moves after Geo. Because he's not in Geo, for clarity. He's not in the place we literally just picked him up from. Makes it kind of annoying. For whatever reason, he's in Pol Pot of Harbor. I don't know why.
think the beach was to the left. There he is. See, the, the blue sea. I are the one I traveled with before. I can't remember. What's wrong with me? I only remember my name, but nothing else. When I awoke, I was lying on the beach. Somehow I was holding a... Gambler... Gambler... Ribbon... Leaf. Ocean calls, but where should I go? Let's take him. Lying on the beach, holding the leaf. Well, at least this one kind of makes sense. We just bring him back to Geo. So I guess he got knocked out in that short time we were just with him a moment ago. Again, a lot of this I don't think they assume this is the order that you play the events in, but... You know, it is what it is. Kind of like how he just magically teleported a statue, even though we passed by it in the town entrance moments ago. Hey, speaking of which, what quest number? 57 as of this one. Interesting. And yeah, we're within 10 events. So I think we're pretty much on target. I was expecting it to get down to like 8 or maybe even 7. Because I know some of the events are longer in length than others. Joke about cleaning, delaying the cutscene. Why, it's Mr. Nikowo. That's right, I remember. I'm truly sorry, sir, but we don't have the ten billion quite yet. Been gathering medicine to cure her sickness. A little farther past my usual herb foraging area, I found... Oh no, I can't remember. Wait, you must have amnesia. Huh? Madam, it seems Nikowo has come down with amnesia. Amnesia is an affliction in which memory is lost through emotional trauma. But I do remember, it's my mission to save her. Wait. Aha! Uh -huh. So you don't remember the agreement concerning payment either. What? How can I possibly take payment when a life is on the line? I don't want to spend my life just seeking profit. Here, take the Yambolurium... Yambolurib... Oh, that's a word. Yambolurribin herbs. Just three times. You'll be cured. It's free. I'll give you all you need. Adam, Nikwo seems to have amnesia. So I heard. The ways of the merchant are so complicated. Okay. So. So I believe the game assumes that you remember from a while back in Niccolo's Business Unusual 2? You were- I think it was 2. You were, you were gathering items near the bird's nest in Gato Grottos. The game is testing your memory on how well you remember to go back there. Because we were near like the bird's nest a while back. game really expects you to do everything kind of close together and hopefully you remember everything which is always interesting when you go to stream it and you have like weeks in between let's go to the waterfall directly Oh, you're gonna make me take the passageway if I do that? Uh... Hmm... I... are you... Okay, let's go to the temple. Is there really not a shortcut up to the waterfall? Oh, there we go. That's what I want. <laughs> I'm like, 
Oh no, it's not gonna let me do that. Oh no, are you really gonna make me go through that dungeon every time? Hold on, chat. Is this being serious with me right now? Is there really nothing else I could do to shortcut this? It's the worst. Unless I could just boink to go to the end. No, 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 that should be fine. That's not the right place. So I, I think I still have to climb through there, which kind of sucks. I was wishing there was a way to just go straight to the nest. So we can at least skip the dungeon in between, but we still have to go through other screens, which is kind of annoying. Whatever. Because I know we're going to have to come back here more than once, so it was worth exploring just so we know whether or not we could do that. Oh well. Yeah, because otherwise I have to, like, because, you see, I have to keep hitting these load screens. I was hoping I could just skip straight to the bird nest, but... Unfortunate. This quest is kind of a time waster, I'm not gonna lie. This is it. To find that item here. It's just a little bit. It's to save someone's life. Unfortunate. Hey, let's go. We gotta hurry. So we gotta do this another time after this, because if you remember his dialogue earlier, he said three times. So he did the first batch. This will be the second batch. But he can't then we gotta go back a third time. Again, not the best implemented quest. This is very fetch questy. Probably my least favorite one for sure. Just because it involves so many loading screens to do so little. Kind of unfortunate. You have to like go, you skip to the waterfall, then you load the waterfall, then you go in the cave, then you load the cave, then you leave the cave, then you load the overworld, then you load the nest again. Stupid. Too many load screens, chat. And we gotta go all the way back here with the delay in the text. Very unfortunate. Rip. Now, I think if I've been doing things right, we should be set up for the Wimpy Thuggling, which is another one that's easy to miss. So I couldn't take a fourth pet slot due to that. But I guess if chat wants a specific pet on the fourth one, we could do that after this. I was kind of interested in the, what was it, the Sharpening of Evil from Lumina with the Hobgoblin. So we brought more herbs. Why, thank you so much! We wish our company had more people like you. Don't be fooled, Sotheby. He's just acting. Something wrong. Here, take your medicine. Thank you, Niccolo. What are these herbs found in a dangerous place? Just tell us where, and we'll send one of our employees. I would, but I, even I don't remember where I was. Hm. So that's the way it is. Just once more, and you'll be cured. I'll be back. See, we gotta do the whole thing over again. Follow him. Yes, wait away, madam. I lost him. I was a fool for sending you. Wow, he didn't even leave the building. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I don't even feel like... I don't know. I guess the conversation with them is fine. I mean, we basically learned Niccolo is just a really terrible person. <laughs> That's what we're really getting out of these. Like, we just straight up cheat people for money. We choose not to say anything. Like, we're not given the choice. We just kind of are a willing accomplice for some reason, question mark. We are the monsters, chat. Okay. We'll go to the waterfall. There's no way to unfortunately skip straight to the nest. I gotta load this area again. 
most unfortunate. So yeah, so even though there's a lot of forced combat in this game, I feel combat is so fast that I don't really care. I think that's what makes a big difference between that and turn-based games. Like, if the combat is, like, really quick and there's things for me to think about during it, I generally don't mind, even if it's on the easy side. Just one more and her precious life will be safe. Somebody's calling me! So we'll eventually deal with him. I don't think I need to worry about that right now. Oh well, guess he fell to his death, right chat? <laughs> we just leave the event unfinished. GG. Erect. I'm guessing he's gonna get his memory back. I guess that's the gimmick of this quest. Honestly, I don't really remember. It'd be like, wow, I hit my head. I feel like I did something dumb. Then it was like, he gave away his goods for free. There we go. Almost done, Chan. Just gotta deliver the final batch of leaves and then talk to Nicola. Quest complete. Love the chocobo teleporting. It's usually cleaning instead of doing what it should be doing. Oh. Do we have to go back now? Oh, damn, never mind. I thought, I guess he had the item and he never gave it to us. My bad. Fine, we'll go to Popata Harbor then. Not a big deal, just a small detour. Again, I really don't understand why they have to keep telling you it's Jid Day every day you walk through there. Those are things where I'm like, why did they add that? They could have just let it load in without making the player pause. That would have been fine. I don't know what they were thinking with that. It's the only area that really does that, that lets you load in, but then you can't move right away. Very weird as a choice. Considering I don't think the elemental day really matters at all for Geo. Like, I, I guess it's nice that they celebrate it, I guess, in theory. But honestly, it's, it's pretty un unimpactful in our run. Or at least its effects are not really observable, since we don't really revisit areas on different days while keeping track of them. Ha ha ha! It's the last leaf. I won't let it go no matter what. Alright, let's go! Oh, Nicobo, we've been waiting. Hello there. What are Nicobo? How do Laura smiles? The medicine. Now Madam will be cured. There you are, so. Where's my ten billion, Luker? Why, you? Trick us, will you? What are you saying? That was our agreement. If couldn't come up with the money, then you would give me the palace. Dot, 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 dot. Demon! Say what you will. By the way, this is Trey. A true champion of justice. Slayer of hundreds of villains. I recommend you honor our bargain if you'd like to see old age. Well, looks like we lose, Sotherby. What? How? Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. That's business. Well then, goodbye. And me, madam? Wait, I'm a busy man. I hire a manager to look after the store. Any takers? Oh, so now it's... So now it's be kind and generous. How insulting. Very nice. Please, sir, hire me to do your work for you. I'm also thankful for such a favor. Very nice. It will be a pleasure to serve you. Ha 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 ha. Who asked you? Damn, Sotheby kicked out of his job. Niccolo calls it quits. The end. Although, funny enough, I don't think that's the last time we see him. Might even literally be in the next quest that we're about to do. We'll interact with him. Is 
There we go, chat. Progress. Let's go for at least three more quests. I have some business to do. See you later. I love I've just been ignoring Bud this whole time. I'm like, bye, Bud. See, that was sad when I played this game the first time, because I was like, not because Bud was sick, but because he was like one of the more, he says Niccolo, by the way, but because he's like one of the more consistent multiplayer characters. So when you don't know where quests are, per se, it's better to have Bud with you since he has a real melee weapon. <laughs> I was like, oh no, not one of the only usable characters. <laughs> Please don't kill that character. But right now it doesn't really matter. Let's see, we did 57, I don't think any of them are not marked there, so that's good. But we'll see where we are in about three events, maybe we'll do four. Just depends on how long this next one is. So up next we have the Blessed Elixir. Which involves Geo, to no one's surprise, given that we've been avoiding that place forever. So now this time I'm going to talk to the bartender that I've been avoiding talking to, because I remember, as I said before, I will talk to basically zero NPCs, as I do not want to trigger quests out of order, or lock myself out of something by agreeing to something. But we've been very careful to not do so, so far. Now we're going to speak to the... Why does that have such a weird interaction? Out of the way. How you doing? Not every bartender has a barrel in his soul. Huh. Guess you have to be a bartender to understand. So we have to view that line of dialogue for some reason. So the barrel in the soul is about to become... Please go down the stairs. I guess more literal versus metaphorical. So for whatever reason, this is another quest that's annoying to find without a guide. We got that comment. There's no hint that this has done something. But now if we go back to the Gato Grotto's dungeon, which again, I don't really know why you would come back here. Uh, we now have something we can interact with here. This is one of those ones that's, like, so ridiculous for me. Like, why you think that specific conversation to go here, I'm not really sure. Well, I guess we'll have some ability to, uh... Do I enter here? Might be here? Well, we'll find out if I went the wrong way at some point. We have Dragon Teeth, Setting Sun, and Phoenix Wings. It's nice to at least one-shot them. Chin Splitter. Short range medium damage, nice, nice, nice. Dying so fast, I can't build meter. It's kind of sad. On the plus side, we should be unlocking abilities like crazy. Hmm. Uh. Oh, I'll take a free fight. I want to build meter anyway. Perfect. Well, we'll find it eventually, I suppose. Basically just choosing to go left, because I don't think there's a lot of choices here, fortunately. 
If I somehow go through, it just means I gotta go through the other door. Not a big deal. Monsters are even appearing in the Holy Land of Gato. How sorrowful it is to see the flow of mana energy weakening. Another path to the left there that I might take. We'll see. Otherwise, we'll just go deeper in the dungeon. I so badly want to use my meter. Find out in a moment if this is a mistake. Oh, treasure chest we never picked up. That's fine, we'll take that. Hmm. On building meter. At least the flail's good enough to one shot with weak attacks. That was nice. We haven't seen Phoenix Wings yet. Let's try this ability. Ooh. Fun little AoE. I keep that on there for now. Got Dragon Bone. Let's get rid of. Oh, I four abilities anyway. There's so many. So many rooms in this dungeon. Oh, it's not in the meditation room? Oh, damn, that's where I thought it was. Okay. Well, I mean, I found my way to the place we went to before. Maybe it's just further in the dungeon. Guess we'll find out, chat. Take the item. Here, we'll acquire the holy water. Hmm. of XP even for an early area. We'll just keep searching. We'll find it eventually. I love air. Thanks. Where is this room? Right chat? Jeez. Maybe I do need to look this up. I thought it was there. So I wasn't too worried, but maybe I just misremembered. I mean, on the plus side, I'm getting a lot of flail moves. But for me, this is still kind of win-win no matter what. Drunken Monkey, Twilight Cyclone. That's a lot of abilities to learn. Okay, so if I don't find it within like two rooms, I'm gonna go look it up. On the plus side, we're seeing stuff that I normally ignore. So we ended up back at the entrance after all that. Interesting. Hmm. Deal with you real quick. Is fine. Charcoal is nice for some crafting. Sometimes drop interesting items. I 
use my ability on you. They're only level one. That's so sad. A chin splitter. Dragon, morph meat. Not, oh, it better not be that room near the exit. I really hope it's not there. That's gonna make me really sad. I was contemplating if it was over there before. So yeah, we're here, but I could go backwards. I wonder if it would have been faster to go this way. If I come in from this side, I could have been here. So the problem is more like, I'm trying to think of like where this room is. The question is more, would it be faster to go in from this spot or the other side? So this barrel room must be super deep in the caves. That's the only thing I could think of. Like, it is, like, crazy deep in there. Hmm. Let's get into a couple fights. Uh, there might have been one over here. You. There we go. Jeez, I was <laughs> I was mentally going through like every place we didn't go through. Yeah, it would have been faster to take the other exit. It really was that other room near the exit. That's unfortunate. So I had to think, the other ones would have taken me back to the other location, and I'm like... I think there was one room where that wasn't the case. Strange rabbit came and drank up all the elixir. Without the elixir, most of the rituals cannot be performed. There we go, now we've officially started this quest. What a pain in the butt chat without a god. The blessed elixir is made with Gato's clean air on Oasis water. If we have water from the Oasis, we can make the elixir. Okay. Boss music. Oh, I'm so sleepy. What are you looking at? Oh, I got a monster trying to attack me. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I gotta defend myself before they get me. No, oh, he's actually, he's got insane HP. What is this? Look at his HP. What is this? <sighs> okay. Um, okay, let's stand over here and heal. Yeah, we're not accepting his gift. We're setting sun on him, maybe. Alright, so we can punish the power attacks, which is kind of unfortunate.
back away. I'm gonna go over here and heal. Setting sun again. I guess I could use Drunken Monkey next. Invincible ready, so it's about to hit him. That sucks. Unfortunate. Cover a little bit of HP. Oh well. Might have killed him. Damn, the power attack actually is too much of a gap to spam it. That's kind of unfortunate. Enter the tiger unlock. Nice. Hold on, what'd they say? Only if I had a barrel in my soul. There we go. So I think with that weird line of dialogue, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on. I've been unlocking so many abilities at this point. At least when we go to the next location, I should be able to use a new ability. Hollywood. Yeah, it would have been much faster to go here. Damn. Well, at least we have to. At least we have, we have to come back this way. We'll try to remember that. Now we gotta go to Geo again because the guy referenced the barrel and the soul. Unfortunately, we did not accidentally talk to him and forget that he told us that. That would have been really brutal. Then if you remember, there was a bartender in Lumina, which fortunately they're right next to each other. Who has that weird kind of like puzzle piece-esque look to him. And it's mostly just exploring the Duma Desert. So finicky. Watch you real quick. Master works in Luma. He taught me everything. He will have a barrel on my soul thanks to him. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This way. Please. Thank you. Hmm. Where was... No, we gotta go there eventually. What do you think about this? The bartender should be on the left side. <clears throat> I think he's on the upper floor. Can I share an interesting story with you? We'll say yes. Here in Lumina, we must make elixirs to quench the traveler's thirst. We tell you the story behind this tavern's name. The amount of mixture inside the barrel decreases over time. We the spirits can't wait. They take a little taste. You know why we let them do that? I'm gonna say not at all. Only those with the barrel in their souls understand this. It's hard to explain exactly what that means. How's everything going for you? Okay, do I have to say yes to him twice? Must have a barrel in your soul too. You get a barrel in your soul. Okay, so now that we have the barrel, very logical thing that has just happened. Guess we just go straight to the desert. I mean, on the plus side, there's not many twists and turns to the Duma Desert that I remember. I just don't remember which one would have been considered the spring necessarily. So there's, it's kind of like just two simple loops. I like to think of it as like two figure aids put together. This is probably one of the easier dungeons to go through. The problem is more like, I just don't remember where the... Sp 
brings were, unless they're where the firework place was. Well, I guess we'll find out. So we'll go up first, and if it's not here, I'll go backwards slightly. Plus this is an excuse to get more abilities. Okay, there we go, now we can build more meters, show stuff off. There's kind of like a middle room, I think, below us, technically. I'm just gonna make sure it's not, like, to the side here. Alright, so we can't interact with that at all. But I also want to touch. Oh, we move so fast with the flail. Soldier's Helm. Only getting like 50 Luka at battle is a terrible amount at this point in the game. Now I think if I go back this way, I could check to see if there's anything over there. We did Drunken Monkey. I think. Oh no, no, we didn't land it though. There we go. Now we can sub out all of our skills. Ooh, Kevin actually killed something by himself. Nice. So we have like a million uses of counterattack. I think I can safely get rid of this at this point. I want to sub in its place is the question. Hmm. Well, since we're doing flail, I guess if I'm not sure, we should have more than enough spin. Since we had to be like 20 spin, I think, for the other thing. Is there anything else I think I might even maybe not have? Maybe high jump I might not have at 10. I think it's at 9. But honestly, other than that, I think we got basically everything. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's get a couple more taunts, since that's a skill we don't normally use. Do taunts retreats. What was the last skill that we learned? That way we can figure out where we are on the list. We have Twilight, we have Cyclone, Double Dragon, we learn Enter the Tiger. Okay. So that means we should be at almost Backslasher and Avalanche. So we're somewhere around 20 uses currently, between 20 and 26. Not bad. We're gonna check this area here to see if this is the spring. It's not. But at least we got to investigate. Yeah, that's the problem with some of the side quests. I just don't remember on the second time through where some of the stuff is. Next time we'll be able to use a new ability. Well, now we're confirmed at 26 battles. That's convenient. It's Twilight. Eh. See, sadly, it looks like the. I thought the flail had a little less of a delay with its power attack. I actually like its range and its stun capability, but I don't like its power attack. So, so far, I think one handed axe has been my favorite so far. No contest. Spear's not bad. Spear's a little awkward. But I feel like at least you could kind of work with it. Some of the weapons are kind of terrible. Like, Staff has got, like, no redeeming qualities at all. As an example. That weapon is terrible. It's got, like, all the downsides of Spear, but no damage. It also gives you really slow damage growth. So it's super bad to level with. Nice. The question is, is it at the firework place or is it at the detour? The twilight. Let's do cyclone.
Wait, that hit the creature down there? What was the range on that? What? <laughs> Wait. I don't feel like that should have hit, chat. I'll be real with you. I don't know why that thing's range is... Like, it's a frontal area attack, but... That hit way further than I thought that would ever hit. We got double dragon on R2. We could do backslasher next. That was something. So if we go up, this should put us back at where the firework place was. So if it's not there, we might get a chance to get monsters or something, which I have to ignore, sadly. But at least I want to know. This is where we fought the Axe Beak, so this is where the fireworks were. Okay. There's one other area we haven't been to. It's directly beneath us. And if it's not there, I'm gonna have all sorts of question marks. Cause there's a path to the left we didn't go to. Yeah, I just wish the flail didn't have such a... Like, the, the range of the power attack is fantastic, too. It's just a shame that everything else is kind of mediocre about the cancels. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have put that in, like, almost god tier, honestly. Now it's, now it's just good. I can't do the certain stun locks with it, but it does other stun locks more easily. Take that as you will. Like, more legitimate gameplay, I would rate this on a higher tier. Cancel-wise, lower tier. Enemies getting a turn to act is not good for us. But fortunately, Flail has surprisingly good distance, so I can space pretty well. Is this the Oasis? Find out in a moment. Double Dragon. And technically, we are very slowly leveling. How close are we to leveling? 270? That's not too many fights away. Even in this area, we're getting okay XP. I don't think we use backslashers in that next fight. Let's be done. Multiple items. Is this helm, soldier helm. Alright, so hopefully this is the oasis, or else I'm gonna be all question marks. Flash the spring. No. So where is it? That's the question. Hmm. I'm not impressed visually with the uh, the skills of the flail. So far, single-handed axe has just blown everything out of the water. Although I think Sphere got a little better towards the end. But definitely not impressed. Learn Puppet, okay. We went through all the skills here, so let's get rid of Backslasher, do Enter the Tiger, Avalanche, Cyclone was actually surprisingly big AoE, that will do Puppet. So all medium damage, all short range. Not a really great combo of things, to be honest. Be real quick. On the plus side, we're unlocking a lot of skills. Hmm. Okay. 
can't go this way. Hmm. Must have like a hidden entrance. Maybe that's why I can't find it. I guess we'll start with puppet. His abilities have not been super impressive. Hmm. So let's go backwards a bit. It might be earlier in the dungeon. I'm thinking we had a couple of choices before we went up to go to the place where we went to the cannon. There was one other room I think I know of. Let's go back for it. That's where we were before. Don't need to worry about these. We're gonna do avalanche next. We'll consider this a weapon showcase. I don't really see this as a downside. Stomp them for some reason. It doesn't even power us up, really. Elaine. Nice, we managed to level. See, that XP is like shockingly good. I don't understand why it's that good. Oh, uh, hold on. Is this where it is? Oh, that's so ridiculous. I just saw it on the way back. That is, that is an entrance. I'll give them that, they got me. I was close. So it is the water from the oasis. The world is saved. Well, maybe not, but thank you anyway. All that and there's no real payoff. <laughs> the blessed elixir completed. They don't even get an item for that. That's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so sadly we gotta put away the pet for now. Hopefully we don't have four pets inside. I guess I'll harvest these since I'm here. But I don't plan on doing anything with them. I was just curious what we grew. So we're gonna go put away the pet, uh, or else we can't trigger this event, which is also an easy way to miss the quest. And we're gonna report our findings and leave Bud on the floor dying. <laughs> We're like, listen, that, that's for future stuff for us to worry about. So technically, if I want produce, we have enough if I want to craft with some of these things. Or feed it to the pets. Although, sadly, some of these items are just kind of always terrible. Unless I really just want to sell it for money. Which, sadly, selling these for money probably gives you more than doing combat encounters due to how bad money is. I just find it weird that we're, like, at the end of the game and they're like, you know what? You killed, like, 40 enemies. Here's, like, 400 lucre. And like, most items cost like a thousand plus at this point. I find that very silly. So it ends up making you kind of hard commit into purchases. Which feels kind of weird for endgame. Why they would choose to do that. Okay, so let's go report our findings. we get to the point where we place the last area because if, if we place the last area I'll play it at the end of that quest just so that we get that out of the way now sadly I don't think we've been setting up for the next event that well so we'll see what happens afterwards There we 
we go. You know, I was looking ahead. I don't think the next ones that we're going to do cover that. Let's not worry about that then. That'll be for the final thing. Alright, so now we should have... Oops, I don't think I put away the pet. We're going to put away the pet, and then we're going to go back to the Duma Desert. Then after that, if we want to get more pets, it's fun. Goodbye to the pet. Sorry, Chocobo buddy. Uh, we're gonna do a pet count. I should have three. That should be fun. We also have to make sure we have no NPCs in the party. That's the other note I have for this quest, which we don't have to worry about. And I believe... We just have to go back to the waterfall area from before, but we'll find out, I guess. area actually. Check one more screen. Hey crybaby, you aren't a real Zahigan. Ow, they hit me. Nah nah, Tickle can't do anything. Fine. You know what I'll do now? I'm gonna go be Kima. Huh? You're gonna be Kima. That's right. I'm gonna crumple him up and shred him into pieces. Haha, <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you all shredded up. There we go. Sigh. I should put my foot in my mouth this time. Wimpy thugling. Hey, what do you want from me? I'm gonna get going. There's no time to chat with you. I target Schema. I can't possibly beat him alone. Actually, you look strong enough to beat him. Do me a favor and be Kima with me. Just show that I'm good at being a monster. We'll say, let's go. This way, the earth trembles when Kima moves. Is it that way? I don't feel like that's actually true. Oof, he's level one? Oh, that's brutal. We're gonna go to the far right here. Well, he's about to power level at some point, presumably. There we go. Again. I mean, he's probably gonna die in the boss fight no matter what I do. Animal bone is fine. We'll keep going forward. I'm gonna go as far right as possible. I believe this is the one I'm looking for. Looks correct. I think I just go up from here and we're basically there. Avalanche, Enter the Tiger. I don't think we've seen Avalanche. We saw a Puppet, which was kind of lame. Oh, never mind. That was Avalanche. We definitely saw Avalanche before. Alright, let's sub those skills out so I don't use them again then. Okay. 
puppet. Move it to... Oh, have any other ones? Never mind. We'll use Enter the Tiger then. Fine. Not at the Oasis, which is fine. Mean to trigger that encounter, that kind of sucked. Bomb. Okay, let's see what entered the tiger's life. Not a bad distance for an attack. I'm gonna keep that on. That bubble attack is actually extremely good in long range. I don't even care if that does low damage. That stun lock potential is insane. We unlocked a new ability. We have unlocked Challenger mid range. The Enter the Tiger was not too bad. That means we're officially at 43 encounters with the flail, with, a, with 57 more to go. And we don't have anything for a little bit. Next up is 56. We've been leveling taunt quite a bit. I guess if I'm not sure I have bash, I can take it, but I'm pretty sure we have enough points in bash. Oh, am I not allowed to go over that way? That might change my opinion as to whether I need to go this way or not. Yeah. So, I think I could have shortcut. If that if that waterfall had not been there, I think that would have been where... I, we need to go basically that way. I'm going to go backwards a little bit. Think about where we have to go. So the place I want to go to is right here. I wasn't sure if this would be open or not. Okay. Hmm. So the question is, what do I do to get over there specifically? It does so much damage. Destiny dice if I want to sell them for money. So this is where we can save the game. So I might as well save a little bit if I want to. Use Enter the Tiger. Does this hit multiples? No. I was curious if the slide was like a fixed distance or not. So like the answer to that is sort of. So so far we don't have a good AoE with Flail, which is a bit unfortunate. Is there a way to go further to the right, is the question. There was. So we're kind of at the three-way split. It's a question of how we'd go over there properly. Okay, so the complication is more that the sand waterfalls are there. I have to think about this. What do you think? If I go around, it's basically like a figure eight, so I have to think about where do I go left or right from here is the question. We have all the... I believe we needed levels of Dryad to start this quest. We already did... 
Reach for the stars and Blessed Elixir, because that unlocks this one. We can't do another quest called Fluorite. The problem is more... Where do we specifically walk to get through it? Maybe I just gotta go back to the end. Oh, maybe it's one of those things where it won't let me go there because I didn't take his exact path. I wonder if it's one of those dumb things where it's like, oh, if you don't literally follow his directions, he won't unlock the path for you. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I jumped the gun. There we go, speaking of which. Cameras are coming from this direction. Probably what happened. Avalanche, let's use Challenger here on this side. Another grab. Ooh, Ooh power-up. Okay. Might keep that just for the power-up if we use this. I don't really have any super good skills yet for Flail. Because I think this is... Yeah, because this just leads us back to the entrance that we were just at, right? If I'm counting correctly? Yeah, it was. So I think I had to see that event, and then I would have been able to go the way that I was going. That's unfortunate. Oh well, I guess we learned if we ever played it again. Can't just go straight to the boss. Okay. More tremors. Now I imagine when I go to the waterfall, one of them will be gone. And then we should be able to proceed. it should be opened up. So I, I don't think I was wrong. I'm pretty sure we have to go past one of the waterfalls. Technically, both waterfalls will let us go there. So now when we go here, we should be able to go right, correct? Yeah, now we can. Okay. There we go. Now if we go up, and then if we were to go left, we'd be at that other waterfall. So this is a brand new area. We unlocked it by playing far enough. We did not lock out this quest by playing other quests, which is good. As I said before, it is kind of surprising how easy it is to lock yourself out of quests. That's why quest order does matter. It will... I'm gonna say semi-arbitrarily stop you from doing other quests, which is kind of unfortunate. But at this point, it should be fairly straightforward. We should basically be there. I think it's about boss time now. Yeah. There we go. We got through it eventually. Just had to trigger the cutscene. Tremors are come from this direction. Let's see what he is. Is he gonna be that weird punk demon thing? Oh, no. What is this? It's allegedly Kima. Oh. Interrupted. I'm glad I backed up a little bit. Oh, why did my attack not connect? What is- What is that? <laughs> he just bought me twice? That's kind of unfair. Well, fortunately I'm regenning some HP. Wow, back-to-back -back special attacks? That really sucks. Can I please stun this? Yeah, I'm only hitting him what What's that? I can't stun him? That's a huge problem. 
this battle just became way harder than it should be. Wow, what is this invincibility spam? Stop this. Chan, I'm not being given a chance to fight this boss. It's invulnerable like 80% of the time. What is this? Wow. Am I just gonna lose because Flail can't stun it for some reason? This is really unfair. It's not even hard, I just can't stun it. Look at that, I get one attack? Are you serious? Oh, and our skills choices are so bad for this too. Wow, this boss sucks. Alright, can you chain my power attacks at least? So that way it doesn't take like 30 years for me to kill. That's fun. Oh, I wasn't expecting him to go full screen. Wow, I might die here. That was really cheap. I was not expecting that. Uh oh. Yeah, we gotta regen some HP for sure. Yeah, I wouldn't have called the boss literally being immune to us. That kind of sucks. We're regen re re regenerating a little bit of safety health. I could take one more hit, I think. Wow, that sucks. So if the screen is shaking, I just run repeatedly. Alright, we're doing old-fashioned power- Oh, I'm almost dead. Ooh, that's scary. We're basically hit and running every hit now. Oh wait, here we go. I could try to iframe through the full screen BS. Okay, we got some safety health. Wow! <laughs> that is so unfair. <laughs> Did you see him just bop me? Holy. Please hit him, thank you. Well, I recover a lot of health during that special. That actually makes a big difference. Oh, there we go. There we go, chat. Let's try to first try this on a really unfair handicap. Oh, I literally can't weak attack him at all. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, we're playing it safe. Regen that HP. Even if he hits me now, it shouldn't kill me. That attack is so unfair, by the way. We just kept moving to not die. There we go. What a ridiculous boss. I got punished hard for not having good skills. Holy. Flat seed, spiny seed. That's all we got. <laughs> the big struggle. That was one of the more annoying bosses in the game. Oh, thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm gonna try to become a fighter just like you. I'm not just gonna try to become a hero. I will become one. Oh, I have another favor to ask you. I have what Kima dropped. I think looking at them will give me courage. I'm gonna say they're yours. Really? Thanks. I guess I have to part now. Next time they pick on me, I'll fight back. All because you showed me what real courage is. Wow. So yeah, we, we had to adjust in real time. I was ready to use my special to get some iframes. But that really sucked. We were get I don't even think Spear would have outranged that. That hit ridiculously far. Like, max range flail is only a little bit shorter than max range Spear. And the fact that, you know, it was getting out of, like, single light attack combos, kind of insane. 
The boss punishment is real. I would not want to play that on a hard difficulty. Holy. Keep in mind, too, we actually have, like, decent armor on. Like, not the highest possible, but it's up there. It's very silly. Probably get rid of Dragon Bone for something a bit stronger. I don't think I'm really worried about magic attacks at this point. But I don't have, like, a good alternative. I could get a shield or something later. Sandstorm. So unfortunately, this is kind of one of the more boring quests. It's kind of unfortunate to potentially end here. But uh, I'd rather just get this one out of the way. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to go in and out of Domina a lot for this. So if you might remember from the beginning of the game, there was Rachel, who I think was the... Wait, or not Rachel, Jennifer and Mark, both of them potentially are running the shop at different days in Domina. So I need to make sure that very specific ones... That we have so little left in the game, just to give you an idea visually. Really not that much left. Also, it's kind of funny that there's like events in the mid... I think 28 we haven't done, for example. Oh no, 29. If we do that number 29 event, it locks us out of, like, half of the game, by the way. It's cute. We went in at 59, so we're within 9 events. If we could complete this one, that'll put us with an 8, which is exactly where I want to end for the session. It's just unfortunate it's this quest. This quest is kind of a mess. So I guess Bud will just have to keep sleeping on the floor for now. Also, I should probably get Chocobo Buddy back. Really? You're really gonna block my only way to the Chocobo Buddy. Fine, I'll go the other way, even though it's slower. Getting actually trolled by NPC random movement. <laughs> right, Chatty went in the only direction that would stop me from making progress there. So, so far we haven't brought any other buddies with us, but honestly, Kevin is just too powerful. Look at that HP, chat. 828? He's never dying. I mean, I could probably have been buffing his damage, so he actually does damage, but we don't need him for that. It's fun. He's just the decoy. He's gonna face tank dummy, or dummy face tank everything, I mean. Here we go, chat. This is one of the quests where the day matters. And unfortunately, that means we're going to be walking in and out of this area a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Which is going to really suck, but whatever. I might have initiated a part of the event with them before, but I purposely didn't talk to them again afterwards. So let's see if they're both here this time. They both are, that's good. Okay, so they want to go... So they're talking about the shops. Maybe this will start the right conversation. I bet you didn't know Daddy was good at tree climbing. Oh, sugar cakes. Daddy, why don't you take Mommy? I'll watch the shop for you. Ha! Ha 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 Hey, sweetie baby, you shouldn't have to worry about the shop. Ha 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 ha! Okay, so it's still awkward as ever. Alright, so the thing we didn't do last time is after we see the world's most awkward conversation, we're gonna go ahead and leave and immediately come back without doing anything. So technically I almost triggered that by accident last time, but I'm like, I think it's okay as long as I don't talk to them again so we don't do the events out of order. Go back here. Immediately go back in. Let's see if this triggered the event. Let's go to the marketplace.
Oh, that good for nothing husband. Every single minute of the day he's with her. I told him to cut it out because it disgusts me, but oh, he's such a fool. Oh, but Ani does so much like your clothes. Very good taste. Auntie thinks you're the best. Oh, here, this is for you. Take this back to your place and check it out. See the item encyclopedia. So there's an... No, I don't want my fortune told. Probably wouldn't come through anyway. There we go, we got that out of the way. I think that's progress. I can try talking to them one more time in case I think I haven't triggered it. Otherwise, we're just gonna immediately leave and come back. I think he's watching the store now. But he won't be in the same area with her. But we can still talk to her. She's not here. Okay, that's good. I think this is sign the quest is move forward. Oh, Menos items. We don't need you. Also, I love that there's that student that's been turned to stone, so presumably they made the teacher mad at Geo, and nobody has tried to uncurse them or anything. So I guess it just sucks to be that student, right, chat? I don't even think we deal with that student by the end of the game, so I think they're just there forever with no context. So unfortunately, we're gonna exit and enter again. Okay, so now something should have happened. And again, it's weird that it never starts a quest when you do this. Like, technically we are advancing the quest, it just hasn't triggered yet. Oh, here I thought Rachel was with you. I wonder where she went. Our stream was when... When he was a oh man, this is a sentence. Let me let me internalize the sentence. Mark's dream when he was a lad was to go to outer space on a rocket ship. Childish, right? Rachel's sick of him too. Hmm. Oh my my oh my oh my oh my! I found a note from Rachel. Be away for a while, but please don't worry about me. But I'm her dad. Of course I'll worry about her. What should I do? Oh my, oh my, oh my. So all that was set up to get this quest to initiate. The quest itself is not long, surprisingly. I wonder if Rachel went in the Academy of Magic and Geo. Magical creature made in Geo, and they wanted to redesign me. Not the type to talk about those sort of things, but you understand, right? One more thing. The girl absolutely hates her dad. It's between you and me. She's gonna kill him. Gotta stop her fast. Do something. Alright, so here's one of the few times where the day in Geo matters. So we also now have to go to Geo on a specific day. So maybe you could have taken from the inference of them talking about rocket ships. We specifically... ...need to go to the Academy during Salamander Day. Again, just kind of shrug on that one, chat. Like, I guess... I guess that works. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to line up that it's going to be the right Salamander Day with it. Oh, no, we got really lucky. You know what? I'm a liar. Totally planned. We definitely got that in one try. <laughs> Did not need to repeatedly sleep at the cafe. Maybe that's why they put the stupid little thing there. It's specifically because, like, one or two quests care about it and nothing else does. Uh, wait, that's not right. I think I gotta go to the library now. Yeah, unfortunately I think some of the later quests are kind of tedious. This is one of the ones where I remember doing this quest and I'm like, geez, how many times do I have to talk to these people to advance the dialogue? I can promise you at least we have at least one big dungeon quest, so we're gonna have a very action-oriented quest in the near future see the teacher actually teaching for once. Ah!
A dot dot dot. A dot dot dot. Well, what sort of experiment is next? Oh, is this not the... I love holidays. Hmm. Is this the principal office? Can I help you with something? I like that we're just kind of okay with him, even though we tried ending the world either, or earlier. I guess it- I guess we truly do side with the demons. So now that we saw that flash of light, now, I like the little black mage that's there. That's a little Final Fantasy reference. It's kind of hidden there. I think these characters are also on Final Fantasy V, I want to say? Because there's like the Spellblade characters. I want to say it's supposed to be them. So anyway, we did all that chat just to go back to Domina again. This quest is uh, a choice on the developer's behalf. I feel like at least most of the other quests prior to the ones that we did today, they had like kind of a flow to them. Like even if we went like back and forth to like a specific area, it made sense. Like we we're like hunting down ghosts or we're trying to persuade people to work together. So, you know, we're talking to one and then talking to the other and grouping them together. This kind of quest, I don't know. They, they could have skipped making it, chat. Like what did this really add to the game? I don't know. I'm gonna put this easy in my bottom bottom five of the game. So we gotta go in here again. A nice room though. Rachel's probably very happy. Rachel came back home. Say, sweetie cakes, if it's magic you're interested in. Daddy will trade in this Tipo for the new model too. What do you say? <laughs> She's just Model 1, so perhaps there's defects in personality. Even Model 1 was quite the thing in Geo. I use it that counts, I guess. Believe it or not, Chan. <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this one before. We have to exit, exit Domina and immediately re-enter. Again, this quest is ridiculous. I don't know what they were thinking with this. Like, did they really think you were going to revisit Domina, like, over and over throughout the point of the game to try to advance the dialogue? Because, like, you can't trigger this quest until you get to Geo. Geo is usually at least seven to eight buildings into the game. And by then, you should already have either Gato Grottos or Lumina. So, like, why would you repeatedly come in and out of this town at this point? And then it also means coming back up to here. Oh, wait, hold on. To this specific store, just to check on it. I feel like this is, like, them purposely making, like, a strategy guide quest. Like, this is just, like, so weirdly obtuse. Say, so even though Rachel came back, my husband's acting strange. Is that girl is in our Rachel, and now is that whenever he closes his eyes, a strange blue jelly talks to him. I can't believe it. How on earth did I end up with a man like him? Ugh. So believe it or not, chat, stop me if you've heard this one before. We're gonna exit Domina and immediately re-enter again. Absolutely outrageous, chat. How many times do we have to enter Domina? Holy. Dare I do another quest? What's the one after this? Oh, no, 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 no. That's the Jewel Beast arc. But it's not in a way that... Yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's put all the Jewel Beast quests together. If it had been us placing uh, the final area, I would have been fine with it. But the other one can wait. Here we go, Chad. Let's see what our quest reward was for just repeatedly re-entering this town until progress was made. 
No, honey bunny, daddy's so glad you've cheered up. Let me ask you one thing. Are you really my Rachel? You name me Rachel. I'll be Rachel as long as you call me by that name. Hmm. A strange way to put it. I just can't help but thinking you're not our daughter, Rachel. I am your daughter. The daughter of all living. And your daughter is Rachel. Am I wrong? Well, not that you're wrong or anything. It's just that, uh... Well, that's right. I want to tell you something. I promise not to laugh, okay? Oh. So today I don't have to laugh. Okay. I imagine she just got a robot of herself. It's been happening every single night. Who jiggly thing in my dream calls itself Rachel? So I asked, then who the heck is the Rachel at our house? And then it says, oh, that's a green wiggly. Every night it's the same. What on earth could it mean? That must, me, that must be from, that must be a telepathic message from Rachel. Telepathic message. Rachel appears as a blue jiggly whenever she uses her telepath. And I am a green wiggly. We traded bodies at the Academy of Magic. I guess the Rachel that you refer to is at the Academy of Magic. Oh my. So, I knew you weren't the real Rachel. How foolish. Who exactly are you talking about? The real Ma Rachel is nothing like who you imagine her to be. You don't even know who your own daughter really is. Mark, Mark! I heard the whole thing. Depot? You don't understand Rachel's feelings at all. Can't stand it anymore. I'm gonna spill it all. Listen up, you. Huh? Rachel bought this here gunpowder with the brass she earned at her job. What? Rachel made me into a bomb to blow the house to bits, Mark, and you with it. <laughs> okay, I don't remember this conversation at all, but that escalated real fast. Thought I could kill myself and it was best for her. Blue Donna asking why? Yeah, that's a good question, Blue Donna. Even as we speak, she's completing her final research at the Bleeding Academy. Rachel. Wanted to kill me. No, not our Rachel. How could she do such a thing? And you, how could you let yourself be made into a... Rachel, so she hated me. A star map with three-dimensional directional indicators. Zero gravity controls. Looks more like a space rocket than a bomb. Space rocket? Oh yeah, Rachel said she wanted to go to outer space and become a star. Go to outer space. Well, that's right, Gov. Out of space, there'd be no evidence. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, this quest took quite a turn compared to the rest of the game. Wait, don't you remember? When Rachel was little, you said, I wouldn't build a rocket and go play in outer space. Oh, yeah. She laughed at me, so I stopped saying that. I don't believe it. Sometimes you could be so... You're the one who said you wanted Rachel to laugh. So she... So you concluded she didn't like you. Why didn't you understand her? Well, because I... Daddy? What? Huh? Rachel? Close your eyes. Like this? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. I could see the blue jiggly. Is that you, Rachel? Oh, so is... Is the random student we talked to... Talking about the green wiggly... It, it what, was that actually plot? I thought that was just nonsense. It's strange to say so after all this, but yes, I am Rachel. Huh? I I was always by your side, but you never noticed me. I didn't notice you. All you could see was the daughter that you imagined. But we could finally communicate now that we're so far apart. Rachel, will you ever come back? There is no Rachel. I am the Blue Jiggly. Blue Jiggly. I want to call you Rachel. No, thank you. That name is no more. No more? No more. But someday, when I become my real true self, then I'll come back. And then you can name me again. Rachel. Can I call you Rachel? No, not now. Well, I'd better be going. Wait. We can see each other any time. Rachel. Yes? Not you. What the heck just happened? Somebody better tell me. Till the day you could be with the real Rachel. I will be the real Rachel. 
it's all over me yet. I couldn't cop back in the bleeding conversation. Don't worry, Tipo. Rachel hasn't made you into a bomb, and we won't trade you in for a Model 2. What's this all about, a Model 2? I have no idea what's going on. Everyone thinks this is okay, then I guess everything's okay. Right, Rachel? Yeah. Everything's fine. Outer space. That was certainly... That was a series of things that happened. Rachel is now concluded. Well, I guess it ended on one of the more confusing quests. <laughs> That was certainly something. Exactly, in Parameter. <laughs> Again, that was a choice. I guess they're implying and insinuating that perhaps the Green Wiggly student body swap with Rachel. Rachel potentially wanted to go to outer space to become a star. Welcome, RJ Chaos. I, I'm guessing that's what the plot was. I just love every single time we ignore him. I'm like, listen, he's not he's not next on the quest list. Blue Wiggly. So yeah, I think we got solid game time in. We had a small delay uh, to the start of the stream because I had to go pick something up. But we still got over three and a half hours. That's pretty respectable. So even with getting lost a little bit, we made exactly the amount of progress that I wanted to make. Without going super late night. We're gonna take a look again. There are 68 total events. We are going to start the last eight next time. So we, we cleaned it up pretty well. I think we started with 17 events, so we did about nine this session. So even if we have a longer dungeon stage, we should be good. I guess we'll go to the Let's Chat, and we'll give a shout-out to everybody that followed. Although I think I have to boot up stream elements this way. Yeah, that was, uh, an event. Not my favorite series of quests tonight. I think- I think the main quests are for the most part fine. I would still say probably the weakest main, like, graphic quest that has a chain that I really did not really care for would be the demon quest where you go to the underworld and you deal with the dragons. I feel like that was the least fleshed out of all the quests. I even think the Niccolo quests, even though I'm not a fan of Niccolo, I think those were just better overall. I feel like we got more lore with different characters and I feel still think the reason for doing the quest is unfortunately kind of bad still, but I don't know. It is what it is when it comes to that. Let's give a shout out to You're wide open. Tixie Gun. A shout out to Shapens. You're wide open. Oh, I missed one person in between. And a shout out to Mr. Piano Mang. So I think otherwise, chat, we should be wrapping up the Jewel Hunter quest. The reason we can't do those early is that if we do those, we basically lock ourselves out of the game. So fortunately, now that we dealt with basically the other ones, the final five or so quests are all going to be related to uh, the Jumi arc, and we'll be completing those. So it'll be nice to have all those basically back to back. Yeah, the one we were trying to avoid doing was called Fluorite, which is one of the last quests that we do in the game. Like, literally the entire next session will be, I think, all but one, I think, is technically part of the Jumi arc. So we're going to be very busy with those. So it'll be nice to have those all grouped together, thematically at least. Because for the most part, the quest order list has been all over the place because we're just trying not to do certain events before other events, trying not to place certain buildings before other buildings, trying to balance the fact that we need things like Dryad levels to be certain levels on towns and different things, Shadow levels in Domina, for example, to get the Doppelganger quest. So a lot of that was just careful manipulation of the map. So we're basically done with that and we're home free the next session. So hopefully the 8th and final quest will be beating the game, by the way, because the final area is its own quest. 
So we should be basically done. So we have only seven real quests left, technically, before we beat the game. So, yeah, looking pretty good with odds of completing this next session. And then after that, I have to make a decision. But we'll talk about that, I think, in the post, uh, I guess, wrap-up. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Hopefully see you again in one of the final parts.